Saturday. Welcome, welcome. Hello, how you all doing? It's great to see you. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. I see Kimya. I see Lynette. Lynette, comma, hello. Logan, how you doing? Welcome back. Hello, Jeannie Young's cooking today. This is going to be a ton of fun in the sun. Jenny Young's making Spanish food today. I'm going to show you all some recipes that you are going to absolutely love. Welcome in. If you're just now coming in, I make sure to give a thumbs up to the live. It means a lot to me. I'm going to show you all a great time today. We're going to have great topics and we're going to be cooking some good food up, okay? Welcome in, Kimya, Logan, uh, Lynette. Hello, 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 and welcome. Okay, so I'm going to look over here real quick because I want to be able to, um, sorry about that. I want to be able to see you all's comments nice and clear on my other device okay welcome mary mantronic hello monique hello i may have said your name wrong and if i did i i apologize today is a bright sunny day and i feel absolutely amazing so praise the good lord Makaya, hello brenda carmela hello lulu lakeisha jackie jamani and rachel latoya hello i'm gonna look away real quick okay just for a second i hope y'all are having a great day today Jeannie young's cooking i have i have an amazing recipe for you all we're gonna be making spanish rice that the the rice that the world loves. Puerto Rican rice, Gina Young style. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it from, from scratch, authentic. We're gonna be making Puerto Rican pork chops. I know. And then we're also gonna to throw together some really quick, delicious potato salad, Gina Young style. Hey, Karen, hello. Evelyn, J. Shell, hello. What's your name? Faye the Red, Boku. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you, precious? Rachel, Theodore, hello, Terrell Unknown. How you doing? Welcome, Dexter, Shirley Clark, uh, Darnisha, Eula, Miriam, Jeremy, J Jamani, Gina, hello and welcome. Reba, hello, hello. It's great to see you all here, okay? So now, I think I can... I think I'm all set up to watch, to watch the live. Let's have a good time, y'all. Don't forget to give a thumbs up as you come in. I can, I can see, I can see only 37 of you giving a thumbs up. And we got 170 of you in here. So here, here's what I'd like to happen. The whole time during the live, let's make the thumbs up match with who's all in here. I see who's in here. I see who's in here. Ain't none of you giving a thumbs up. You ready? Are y'all ready to cook? C. Stern, Emma, Terry, Paula, Marilo, Perez. Hello, Jason, Tyler, Whitney. Thank you. I appreciate that. Derek, hello. Thank you, Latanya. I love you too. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all, and thank you all. I can gradually see the thumbs up coming up, but we need a little bit more before we get started cooking. We can't even cook without the thumbs up. Welcome in. It's great seeing you all here. I love you all to pieces. I love you all to pieces. Okay, and there your messages are. It's great seeing you all in here. Derek, hello and welcome. Imper How do I say your name? Imperial Designs, welcome. Imperial Designs, I say that right? C. Stern, Derek Eats, how you been doing? I've been missing you, buddy. You've been gone for a while, but it's great to have you back. Welcome back. Bill Avery, hello, Darnisha. Evelyn, Carla, Evangelist, Patricia, Miss B, welcome back, hello. You love my outfit, well, thank you. I just threw on a t-shirt. I just got a t-shirt on and some jeans and I'm ready to cook. 
When I put the hat on, just remember that means I couldn't do anything with my hair that day. <laughs> the hair just wasn't given what it was supposed to. So you throw a hat on and everything's okay, right? Rachel, hello, Troy, Frank Dinners, hello and welcome. Welcome to everybody. I hope y'all are having a great Saturday today. And honestly, if you're not, hopefully as you watch this live, you'll have a great day. All right, we're going to have nice, clean fun here at the Young's house. And let's make some food. If you, Shirley Kirk. Gina, I don't see. Oh, okay. I believe uh, uh, your name is Ryan. Hello. Not sure if it's because you're. Um, thank you, Ryan. Um, can someone tell Shirley how to give the thumbs up on this new way that we're going live? Shirley, it may be the three dots. Um, since I'm new to going live vertical, I'm just not sure. But I'm sure somebody will tell you. Drew Moss, hello, how you doing and welcome in. Okay, there's Rachel, Shirley. Rachel says, click the three dots at the top of the live and you should be able to do it. Thank you so much for you all coming in. I appreciate you guys. How about we get started rocking and rolling? Let's make some Spanish food Gina Young style. Pork chops, we're making them. Delicious potato salad. We're making it. We're, I'm also going to teach you how to make authentic Puerto Rican rice that will knock your socks right off. Okay? So talk about a great menu. Listen, if you want to take notes, now's the perfect time to run right now. Grab a pen. Grab a pencil and a paper. You're going to want to write this recipe down because it's super delicious. Hey everybody, welcome. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm getting up right now. Gary, put the apron on, we're gonna wash our hands. And one of the first things that I wanna show you all how to do is make sofrito, okay? Sofrito, okay? So that's what we're gonna make. It is the base of Spanish cooking. Sofrito is a must when you are making Spanish cooking. Okay, you're making a Puerto Rican recipe, you need sofrito. Okay, and this sofrito has so much flavor, it's going to bump up any recipe you put it in, okay? So now, let's get the apron on. Saj, hello and welcome. How you doing? I missed you. I missed you, Saj. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. It's great, it's great having you. Great having you all. If you're new, let me know that you're new. I would love to welcome you in such a way. Now, if I miss your message, please don't, don't like, like, it's not the worst thing in the world if I miss your message, okay? Because um, I may look back later and see some of your messages. Just know that I've only got two eyes and they barely work. <laughs> so as I'm trying to read everybody's message, it's totally impossible, okay? So welcome in. I love you guys. All right, so I have my apron here. Gonna get our apron on, we're gonna get our hands washed. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sofrito. Okay, it's a Puerto Rican base to the food that we need to make today, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna make everything taste super duper delicious. All right? You're from Rochester, New York? Well, welcome in. Welcome to everybody. Welcome to my current subscribers. I love you guys in pieces. And welcome to um, the new subscribers. All right, so now let's get started. Chef Deb, welcome back in. Candy, hello. Candy, how you doing today? Romano, hello and welcome. Ernestine, hello, hello, hello. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this camera over to the kitchen. We're gonna wash our hands. And we're going to start the process of showing you how to make sofrito Gina Young style. And I'm going to give you like a couple of spices that you can throw in there to really bump up the flavor of your sofrito. Let's get the camera turned over. All right, there we go. 
You're making chit lunch, Drew? I'm coming over. Drew, I'm on my way right now. If you're really making chitlins, I'm on my way. <laughs> because I want to taste them. I'm hoping that you clean them real good. If you didn't clean them good, I ain't eating them. <laughs> if you didn't clean them good, I ain't eating them. If at any time, for some reason, you can't hear me or... Um, if the lighting isn't good, let me know and I'll fix it. I'll fix it, okay? I want you all to have the best experience today. Welcome in if you're just now coming in to In the Kitchen with Gina Young. We're making Spanish food. Let's get started. I'm going to wash my hands. Gotta be mindful of that, okay? Sorry about that, everybody. I ate, uh, uh, oh my goodness, here we go with this. I see your message, Derek. Eula, how you doing and what's your question? You just started cooking Spanish rice. Okay, royalty, so um, this is great. Maybe you can compare minds with yours and maybe you can take some notes and see if there's anything that Jeannie Young does when I'm making Spanish rice that can uh, you know help you okay so the first thing we're gonna do we got to make sofrito all right so now I have a food processor go ahead put him down uh, sofrito requires you to have a, a bunch of veggies now, the veggies that we're going to need is you're going to need green bell pepper, red bell pepper, onion and garlic, okay, a ton of garlic, right? And you're going to need fresh cilantro. When you bring your veggies home, you must wash them off because they have pesticides on them, right? And then again, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home, right? So just wash them off and then you ain't got nothing to worry about. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop down our veggies. See, I could have made the sofrito ahead of time and then sent you to a video and told you, hey, check the video out if you want to know how to make it. But I figured since I'm going live, why not show the people how to do it while I'm right here? Okay, this comes together so quickly. So now I'm going to be putting some water into our sofrito to kind of break it down. I'm going to put some oil and I'm going to use a little tiny bit of chicken bouillon powder in here. Okay, so now let's get a knife. And I want to, let's move this out the way for now. Let's chop up a little bit of onion. I hope y'all are having a great day. Welcome in if you're new. Welcome in if you're a returning subscriber. No worries about the comments because I'll get to the comments. There'll be, there'll be a ton of times today where I'm able to look at the messages like right now. And uh, I'll be able to talk to you guys, okay? So now what I want to do, I have this beautiful sweet onion. You really can use any type of onion you want to use. But me personally, I like to use the Vidalia onion. It's going to give great flavor, okay? So let's break it down a little bit, okay? Just like so. You don't have to break it down too much because my food processor will really do the job, okay? So now I'm going to put this right into our food processor, if the camera can follow me just real quick. Someone said, Gina, why is your screen smaller? Why is the screen smaller? Because we're doing, we're, we're testing something. What we're doing is we're testing a new way of doing uh, lives. And this is called the vertical way. Okay, so um, I just want to test this out. I have not stopped completely doing the lives where you all can see everything horizontal and everything behind me. But let's try this vertical out, okay? Just for a little while. We just want to test it, all right? So now, 
my onion is cut, let's put some red bell pepper. You don't need a ton of red bell pepper. When you're making sofrito, you use any color bell pepper that you want. Okay, depending on the color bell pepper that you decided to use, that's going to depend on uh, what color your sofrito turns out to be. If you were one of the person, let's just say you didn't have any green bell peppers, and you use red, orange, and yellow, yours is going to have a reddish color, and that's totally okay. It'll still taste the same, right? But I like to typically use the red and the green. Sometimes you'll see me, like, use orange and yellow. I'm just going to give this a rough chop. Like I said, because more than anything, our food processor is going to break this down. Hey, listen, be sure to take the sticker off of these things. I forget so many times to take the sticker off. I go to cutting and I think, oh, let me take that sticker off. Welcome in, my holy king. Hey, dog man, hello. Oh, dog man, you're not. Okay, I totally understand. I do understand. We have red bell pepper in our food processor. We have onion, and now I want to do a ton of garlic. How many pieces is a ton of garlic? Well, uh, let's just use about six pieces. Six pieces is going to give whatever recipe you're making some great flavor, okay? Saj, how you doing? And welcome. We missed you. We missed you, Saj. I feel like you've been gone forever and a day. I do. Where you been? Actually, Aubrey, hello and welcome. This one here can really count as two <laughs> because it's super big. This one can too, okay? So, since they're, you look how huge they are. I mean, like, these garlic pieces are like hooked on phonics. I, I, don't, I don't think I meant to say that. <laughs> I meant to say something else. Hooked on phonics. <laughs> I guess that's the word that came to my mind. Okay, Bernadette, I love you as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all when you tell me you love me because I love you all too. Someone said hooked on steroids. Hooked on steroids. There we go. I said hooked on phonics. I think that's like a reading program. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded funny though, right? So let's put this garlic, this extra garlic in here. Okay, there we go. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Welcome in if you're a new subscriber. Let's break the garlic down. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock the garlic with the side of my knife, and I just wanna get the skin off. I don't need to chop it, because the food processor, once again, will do the trick for me, okay? So watch how I knock the skin off. Otherwise, you're gonna be peeling for days trying to get this skin off. Come on in, take a peek. Just like that, and the skin comes off. It's like magic, right? And it really works. And now we got beautiful garlic that's skinless. Just a nice knock. Just like that. Simple. Simple. Hey, listen, a good recipe, don't, don't veer away from it. A good recipe, a, a lot of people veer away from some recipes because they think it's going to be hard to make. This recipe by far for everything that we're going to make today, you're going to see how stinking easy it is to make these recipes. There's a, um, I got two more pieces of garlic and then we'll put a big bunch of cilantro into our food processor, okay? With some water, some oil, chicken bouillon powder, okay? Frida, hello and welcome. Gina, I've been watching the replays. Food has been looking amazing. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Saj. I appreciate it. You guys can message me anytime in the comment section. As you're watching the videos, I may comment back. I may not be able to, but I always do see the comments, okay? 
So now, look, it may look like a ton of cilantro, but I always use one full bunch, okay? This is what's gonna make that thing taste good. Okay, so let's get that right into our food processor. Always be careful because there is a very sharp blade in the bottom of there, okay? Okay. So now, I got a whole lot of ingredients over here because we're making a ton of food today. My family's hungry and they were ready for Spanish food and I said, I'm here for it. I'm gonna make it for you, all right? So now let's bring our food processor into the equation, okay? And I need a little bit of water. I Normally when people make a sepurito, they don't put a chicken bouillon powder in here like I do. I put it in there because it makes, it turns this sepurito out. It turns it out, it makes it so good. I'm not gonna put a lot, it's just a little tiny bit, okay? So check me out. That's it, okay? A little bit of water, a little bit of oil, okay? So you can use vegetable oil, not a lot. That's it, okay? And then I'll grab a little bit of cold water. Make sure it's cold water. You never wanna use hot water or warm water. It'll just kind of destroy what we're doing here, okay? Someone said instead of making that, can they make gravy? And if so, what ingredients would, would you recommend for the gravy? Instead of making this, can you make gravy? Um, no, because this is what you need to make uh, the Spanish rice. And you'll kind of understand as we go a little bit more, this recipe doesn't call for gravy. You'll see. You'll see, as long as you stick with me and you stay here, you're gonna see and you're gonna get the gist of what we're doing and why we need this so desperately when you're making Spanish food. Okay, let me get some water. Where's the oil? You took that, look up. Get a little bit of water. Okay, let's blend this. I, when I make sofrito, I am not ever aiming for this to be liquidy. You want it to have some texture, and I'll show you what texture we're looking for. But definitely make sure all of these veggies are nice and um, blend it up. If I was making Haitian apice, which is their base that's similar to sofrito, I would be using uh, cloves. I would put cloves in here and it alters the whole flavor, right? So let's get started with this. <laughs> Okay, I had to see. <laughs> Just a random man out there. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this once again, y'all. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Can they see it really well? That's what you're wanting. You do not 
want this to be super duper and I want to taste it, okay? Hot dog. Yo, I got a few couple pieces that's a little bit big in here. I'm going to break that down. And then the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put together my um, potato salad, okay? Just want to blend it up a little bit more. Got a couple big pieces that I can see. All right, we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction. I have a bowl here. Let's get, if the camera can follow me, let's get our sofrito put right here into a bowl. So now when you store your sofrito, you can store your sofrito in a airtight container in your refrigerator, or you can put this in ice trays, in ice cube trays, right? Once it freezes up, throw it into a freezer bag, you'll have little tiny sofrito uh, ice cubes. And when you go to make Spanish food, you use like two or three ice cubes of sofrito, per recipe and you're set. This will last you quite a long time, okay? So now let's just say I'm making American spaghetti or whatever. I will, I will use sofrito in all kinds of recipes, right? If I'm making beef stew, throw some sofrito in it and watch it taste delicious, right? So this can be used for a multitude of things. Delicious, take a look, take a look. I wish you guys could taste it because even just tasting it right now raw, my husband can eat it like this. He loves it. He does. He loves it. Okay. So how quick and simple was that, right? Super simple. Okay, so now that we have sofrito made, what we're getting ready to do next, I've already boiled eggs for my potato salad. I've already cut and boiled potatoes for my potato salad, okay? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to mix in some mayonnaise, some celery, and my eggs, and the special spice that I'm going to be using to make it Puerto Rican style, okay? Welcome in, Rosalind. Thank you. Okay, so I have cleaned off this beautiful celery, and I want to chop up my celery nice and fine, okay? Chris, hello. How you doing? Welcome. Patrice, hello. Springlock, how you doing? Welcome in. Springlock, we're in here cooking. Kinsey, hello. Sonia Hammond from Delaware, hello and welcome. Handy, hello. Kenya. Carmen, hello, Kendall. So I'm gonna chop up the celery nice and fine. I don't need to use too much, but I feel like when you have a, a potato salad, you gotta have some type of crunch to it, right? Just a little bit. I'm not putting onions. Um, every once in a blue moon, you'll see me put onions in my potato salad, but really I feel like it doesn't need it. I don't want for raw onions in my potato salad anymore nowadays. Right, just a little bit of celery. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double back onto this little bit of celery. And what I'll do <clears throat> is make the celery pieces nice and small. Okay, so this is how I like to do it. Just double back. My potatoes have been boiled several hours ago, okay? So they're nice and cooled down. Never make your potato salad when your potatoes are hot. If you do, it, it'll turn into a mush mess. <laughs> We're not looking for a mush mess. Just let them cool down. And if you don't have the patience to wait on them to cool down, throw them in the freezer and they'll cool down real quickly or in the refrigerator. I know some of you are freaking out at the thought of me cutting without looking. <laughs> I try not to do that too often. And I, I, I try not to do that too often. <laughs> You love my voice. How do I say your name? Lija, 
Lahija, Lija. Well, I thank you. I thank you. I appreciate it. So, here are, here's my potatoes that I've had cooling down. Okay, they just been in the strainer because um, after you cook them, you must put them in the strainer. Get all that water out for sure, right? You don't want a watery potato salad. That's like the last thing you want. So my potatoes have just been sitting in this strainer, just getting nice and dry and cooled down. Someone said Gina is a beast with that knife. Is what? Is a beast with that knife. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, but thank you. <laughs> My celery is nice and fine. If you don't like celery, don't put it in. I know that my dad is not a fan of celery, um, so I understand. So now, um, the seasoning for this potato salad is super simple. Guess what the seasoning is? The seasoning is adobo. We're going to use adobo seasoning. I'm going to season it to taste. Start off with a little bit and then taste it. If you're not happy with the seasoning, you can always add two. I have an idea how much I want to put in there. We're going to put eggs and mayonnaise and your potato salad's done. And I tell you what, it's the most simple potato salad you've ever tasted, but it's so delicious because adobo seasoning is like the bomb.com, right? And if you've never tried it, you have to. Uh, looking for mayonnaise. I have the mayonnaise. This is my mayonnaise of choice today. There are times where you'll see me use an off brand of mayonnaise. Sometimes you'll see me use helmets. And then again, sometimes you'll also see me use Hellman's and a Miracle Whip, put the two together. Thank you, Patrice. Patrice. I appreciate that. Let's grab a nice amount. I'm just gonna eyeball it, okay? Just gonna eyeball it. Take notes if you want to. Someone said, what are you making? I'm making potato salad and I'm making Span uh, Spanish potato salad. It's gonna have eggs, celery, mayonnaise, and a tobo, okay? All right, let's put some in. Come on in and you can see how much I'm gonna use. We're gonna go three times around. One, two, three. For now, that's good until we taste it. And then if we feel like we need more, then we'll put more, but for now, we're good. <laughs> Man R, oh, how do I say your name? M-A-N-R, hello and welcome. Neat Dog, how you doing? You use cream cheese. Oh, that's pretty interesting. That's interesting. So now let's go ahead and be very careful. You don't want to break your potatoes up, right? Just be careful, okay? And start off with a little bit of mayonnaise. You can always add more to it, right? It smells good already. This is one of the, my most simpler, simpler, is that a word? This is one of my most simple recipes for potato salad, but every time I make it, we love it. And it goes so quickly because we can't stop eating it. Okay, so now that I have that nice and mixed up, we gotta peel some eggs, okay? I may be moving a little fast today, I actually wished that, I wish that I cooked a little bit earlier today. So I kind of feel like I'm running behind even though, like, there's no certain time to eat dinner. I just would have preferred to go live at like four o'clock <laughs> versus six. Someone said, is a double a salt seasoning? Is there what? Is a double a salt seasoning? Adobo does have salt in it, and it has um, other seasonings as well. Um, don't quote me, but I believe there may be a turmeric. I believe that there's pepper in there. 
Um, there are some really great spices like garlic powder in there. It just tastes good. It tastes super good and I love it in this potato salad. It looks like there's no moderate raiders, but I can tell you one thing. Um, are you looking at the comments? I have a moderator behind the camera right now that may be able to assist um, as the trolls come in. You guys can say, hey, so-and-so's a troll, and I, I, hopefully my cameraman can attack them. <laughs> but if not, we won't worry about it. They're the last things we worry about, right? We pray for people. Jane, hello and thank you. Welcome. Welcome in. Hey, I'm so grateful right now. These eggs are pilling with ease. Normally, it's like pulling teeth trying to get these eggs peeled. So I'm super grateful right now. Debbie Tallier, hello. Okay, you cooked a lot of potatoes for recipes yesterday. Perfect timing, okay. All right, I got some gorgeous eggs. I'm gonna break these eggs down, get them into our potato salad. Potato salad's done, right? When you're in this kitchen, like I like to tell everybody, no stressing out. Don't stress out. Don't worry about nothing. Just, you know, cook and know that your recipe will turn out with no issues. This is how I like to cut my eggs. I like to cut it like grandma used to, right in her hand. But I'm using a butter knife, okay? So if you guys want to see how I like to chop it down into the salad, can they see what I'm doing here? Nancy, hello. Anna, hello. How you doing? Welcome. It's great having y'all in here today. Happy Saturday. I hope y'all are having a great day today. I, my moderators may have not known that I, I was going live. Kind of this evening I decided that I was going to go live and I posted a community post. So I, I don't know if they were able to see it, you know. Zanya, hello. How you doing? Welcome. What you cooking? Your name is D. Domenico. I am making I, Puerto Rican food. We're going to make pork chops, potato salad, and Puerto Rican rice. Spanish rice, Gina Young style. Y'all, listen, the recipe is going to have your mouth watering. When we get started making the rice, it's going to be so super interesting to you. It's going to be so interesting for you to see this recipe. <laughs> Listen, one thing that I like to do as I'm in here cooking, I always, you'll always see me clean up after myself. Clean up after yourself, you'll be less stressed. I pro It's a promise. Just clean up as you go. Everything will work itself out. It always does. A little R&R, &R, hello and welcome. 350 Fitness, how you doing? Welcome. Hello, hello to all the new people. Welcome in. I appreciate you all coming in. So now, guess what time it is. If you guys can take a good look at the potato salad, let me know what you think about it. I'm going to taste it. Now, just to, to finish it off, you can put some parsley flakes on there to make it pretty. But most people put paprika on top. We're gonna put some paprika and make it pretty, okay? Let me grab it. Someone said you're the best cook on these YouTube streets. Oh my gosh, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, I love what I do. That's what I'm gonna tell you. For the person that said you're the best, um, I, I, just, I just honestly, I love, love, love what I do. So thank you. Wow. Look at the views. I, I can't see. 5.30. You love the channel so much. D-U-H. I think it's maybe duh. Thank you. Look, yo, somebody wants to taste the potato salad. Come on in, taste. Taste. Ah, I'm going in. It tastes good. Don't be afraid. Mm. Let the people 
people see the potato salad. Don't be afraid to taste a new recipe or try a new recipe. Don't you be afraid. Especially if you're going to try it Gina Young style, you will not be let down. Someone said if you got the option to cook alongside one cook, who would it be? If I had the option. To cook along one cook, who would it be? I would cook along, is it, is it a cook on TV or a cook in your, hold on guys. So now, are you guys saying a cook on TV or a cook that is another YouTuber? So explain and then I can answer your question. So if they were like from the Food Network, I would be cooking with Guy Fieri. I would be cooking with Guy Fieri and I would have a good time and I would make him some fried chicken. I would, I would, I would, I'm not kidding. I would make Guy Fieri some mustard fried chicken. Check me out. I would make him some collard greens and I would make him some Puerto Rican rice. I would. And then I turn around and make him some bread pudding for dessert. That's what I would cook with. I know, I know, I know you guys didn't expect, you know, I didn't expect that. But it's true. It's true. <laughs> Natalie, hello, Natalie Moore, welcome. Chris W, hey, how you doing? Welcome back in. Nancy, hello. Oh, you said it's on TV. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I would say Guy Fieri. Um, let's get some plastic wrap on here, okay? So my potato salad stays nice and fresh. Okay, potato salad done and out the way. Sofrito done and out the way, right? Next thing that I want to do is I'm going to show you all how to make... Uh, Puerto Rican pork chops. I'm not going to use pork chops, but I am going to use pork steaks. Now, if there's any people in the comment section you don't eat pork, no worries, because you can do this with chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Just keep it in mind. If you don't eat pork, you can do this recipe using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You only need two spices. You're going to need sazon, and you're going to need adobo, okay? You're going to need a nice, sharp knife, okay? So, we got potato salad. Our sofrito is done. Let's bring in the pork, okay? I'm going to show you how to season it. And I have, I have this pan here. Someone said, what's your favorite dish? I'm going to tell you. I have this pan here with a little tiny bit of vegetable oil in it, okay? This is going to be the pan that I use to cook the pork in, okay? Welcome in if you're just now coming in. So now, once we get our pork going, we will get started on our Spanish rice, okay? Um, last time I did a live showing you all how to make this, I had the rice going, I had potato salad going and pork frying, and it was kind of overwhelming. So now we're gonna do one thing at a time to make it easy on Gina, okay? Here is a pork steak. And it's super duper delicious and it don't dry out, okay? So this is what they look like. If you're looking for them in your local market or Walmart, they have it. Just, or a butcher, you say, I need a pork steak, okay? Sometimes they'll have a bone in it that you may need to cut around it. You can fry these whole or you can chop them down, okay? I'm gonna look at some messages and see how everybody's doing. Christy Fowler, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Someone said they love Gordon Ramsay, but they wouldn't want to get cussed out in their own kitchen. I would be 
either. I'd be scared half to death of Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> what happened? What happened? It's, I, I'm saying what, what happened to the... It was my fault. I caught it. Okay. I wouldn't want to be in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen either. But I tell you what, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I might... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So you decide how big or how small you want your pieces. What I love about the pork steak is it has that nice marbling. It's going to keep it nice and juicy and give us some good flavor. So, you hear me? Someone said you never answered what your favorite dish was to cook. Oh, what's my favorite dish? I love to make a bit... Uh, let me just say this. I may not be able to give you a straight answer to what favorite dish do I like to make. Um, but I can throw out a couple. I like to make spaghetti. Right? I love to make lasagna. I love to fry chicken. I love to make a big pot of greens. And also, how about a big pot of beans with ham in it? Oh my goodness. Cabbage, right? I can go on and on about what my favorite dish is to make. So I can never give you just a straight answer. So here's the sizes that I like my pieces. And guess what we do? We fry these things to perfection with the most great seasonings that you've ever tasted. And it's so succulent and delicious, okay? If you don't want to use this, you're going to use chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, okay? A lot of times you'll see me uh, repeat myself, but I'm repeating myself on purpose. So I, for somebody that wasn't in the chat when I said it the first time, can hear it. Nita, hello and welcome. Yes, okay, so look at Derek. He says, ham, beans with cornbread, yum. Yes, Derek, that's what I'm talking about. I love, a, I love to make a big pot of beans. Great northern beans, lima beans, pinto beans. I like stuff that makes you think of grandmom's house, right? Make you think of Uncle Bobo. <laughs> Everybody's got like an Uncle Bobo. Everybody has an Uncle Bobo. <laughs> and if you don't. <laughs> Hello, Patty. Hello. 350, thank you. Hey, 350, we're just getting started. 350 Fitness. We're just getting started. You might, you might have to say that when the food is cooked. Like I said, once again, welcome in. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm pretty much taking this gorgeous meat off of the bone. It's a pork steak. We're going to season it up very well and start to fry it. You don't dredge it. You don't put a batter on it. You just fry it in these beautiful spices, and it tastes so good. All right, so now I'm going to continue to do this. And then once the pork gets going, we'll start on our rice, okay? The rice is super amazing and, and so interesting how we make it. Someone said, where are you from? How's your family doing? And how'd you start YouTube? I, okay, I'm originally from, I was born in Columbus, Ohio. And my family is doing absolutely amazing. How did I start YouTube? Well, I was working in a hospital and every single day, every day, I would come home and I would watch YouTube cooking videos, and one day, I, in 2017, I said, you know what? I said, uh, on Thanksgiving, I'm going to record everything that I make for Thanksgiving. And I did. Right? And I used the iPhone 6 to do it. And then every day thereafter, I made videos. When I came home from that hospital, whatever I was cooking for dinner, I was recording it on an iPhone 6. And then on my days off, I would do two videos. Okay? And so that's how everything got started. And it was history from there. Now, the first thing that I did before starting the channel is I prayed. And I invited God into this channel. And I said, Lord, I'm going to do it. You told me that if I include you in my plans, my plans will succeed. And so that's how we got the whole thing started. Uncle Bobo, you hear me? <laughs> yes, everybody's got an Uncle Bobo. <laughs> I, and what's funny? 
funny is I really don't have an Uncle Bobo. <laughs> I just like to say that name because I think it's super funny. <laughs> Someone says, so you don't have to flour your meat? You don't have to flour this meat. Watch it come together so succulent and so delicious. And like I said, you don't worry about how you cut it. Okay, let me see. Driveway. Somebody's in the driveway. Hold on, y'all. Let me check my driveway here. Okay, it's Amazon. <laughs> Let me wash my hands since I touched my phone. Anytime you touch something that is not included in your food, wash your hands so you don't transfer bacteria. We do know that the phones can be dirty. You want to go to the front door and get the Amazon? I think it's a new tripod that we could be using right now. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands, y'all. all for coming in. Welcome in to Jeannie Young's Live. I love to cook. Bessie. That's right, Bessie. Absolutely. I'm hoping I ordered a tripod because the tripod we're using right now is propped up on three books and it's only this big. I need the tripod that should be at the door. <laughs> We got one more to cut and then we'll season. it. There it is, the tripod's here. So as um, I continue to work, my cameraman that's behind the scenes will take the camera, put it on this new tripod so you may see it move a little, but just know what's happening behind the scenes, okay? It may give you a better view, all right? Is that better? Absolutely it is. Y'all, I love you. I just want to step in and say I love you. Even if you are a new subscriber or a new viewer, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming in. If you look up and you realize that you have not given a thumbs up to the live, please do so. Okay, so right now, the, the camera should be moving. My cameraman is moving the camera off of the tripod. He's going to put it onto another one, so just bear with us, okay? This will just be two seconds, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to season, and the only two seasonings that I'm using is going to be adobo and sazon. And I'll be talking about the sazon and, and what it does in the color. I love you, Cherish. Thank you. Welcome in. I, we do. We have a ton of new people here. Welcome to all of the new people. All right, so now we have our meat. And I'm going to grab my seasonings that I need. Anytime you're dealing with raw meat, before touching your spices, it's a definite must that you turn around, bear with the camera guy as he adds the new tripod to the camera, okay? It's a definite must that you wash your hands to get rid of the bacteria before you touch your spices, okay? So I'm gonna wash my hands while he deattaches the camera from one tripod, puts it on the other. this meat. All right. I'm bringing in my adobo. 
Once again, it has great seasonings. You don't need salt and pepper. It's already in here. You don't need garlic powder. It's already in here. Great flavor is in this one bottle. And when I purchase this, I get the one with the red cap. They have one with the blue cap. They do. They have one with the blue cap, with the green cap, with the orange cap. If you're making a Gina Young style, get the kind with the red cap, okay? So I'm going in. Perfect. And then we want to use Sazon. I'm going to heat the pan up. I know, I know. Hello and welcome in. Uh oh, Drew's in timeout for 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yo, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Don't y'all mess with him. <laughs> what does he say? Oh, who said that? Oh, Saj. <laughs> Saj, oh my goodness. Drew needs to be what? Oh. Someone said, what is your opinion on Kanye West? What is my opinion on Kanye West? I don't have one. I don't have one. Not, not anything that I want to talk about on here. Um, so, you know, there's some things that I like to talk about on my channel. But honestly, there's some things that I don't. And so I'd like to just kind of, you know, kind of back up away from that question. Right? I love you too, Becca. Thank you. Hey, thank you for coming in and joining us today. It's great having you here. Someone said Jill Scott, question mark. Oh my goodness, I'm not Jill Scott. I'm not Jill Scott, but I have been told that we look alike. So I have been told a time or two <laughs> that we look just alike. So now that I have the adobo and sazon on, can you see the gorgeous color that sazon will give to your meat. Is there some type of sweet drink that we have that you can get me? Can you get me some? Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Oh my goodness. Now, let's talk about the meat. The meat is very important that when you're cooking meat, doesn't matter what kind of meat it is, right? Doesn't matter what kind of meat it is. Let the meat set out on the counter and kind of get, let the chill come off of the meat. I don't know what this means, <laughs> but let the chill come off of the meat. And then when you go to cook it, it's going to cook up perfectly, okay? So I just need you to trust me on that, okay? When you take your meat straight out of the refrigerator and you think you're going to cook it, it'll turn up dry if it's too cold because it seizes in the pan, right? Let it hang out on the counter for a little while. Then you cook it. It'll always turn out juicy. So now we're going to set this over here where my oil is heating up. Dina, you taught me about the Sazon. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. 560. Great. Um, so the oil is heating up. I'm not deep frying it. I'm just have. Let me show you one more time if you didn't see. I got just a tiny bit of oil in the bottom of this pan, okay? Can y'all see it? It's really just a little bit. Just enough to fry our pork. Someone said, Gina, I'm Dominican. Are you making plantains with this recipe? I, I tell you what, I need to be making plantains, okay? If I have some in my freezer, I'm going to make some for you and for me because I love them. So let's look in the freezer and see if we have some. If we have it. I'm supposed to be making it, right? So I'm talking about the plantains. If I have it, I'll make it. I need to sanitize this because it had raw meat on, right? Very important. If you didn't sanitize this and you went on about your day, you're going to be transferring bacteria everywhere, okay? Someone said, do you like Jurassic World? Do I like what? Jurassic World. I don't know what Jurassic World is. here. 
Nate, Nate Dog says just use bananas. Just use bananas. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like plantains. It just doesn't work like it was a plantain. Someone said fry or boil plantains. Fry them. Fry the plantains. I I love I love the plantains when they get super duper dark. When the skin is like black, you would think they were rotten, but guess what? They're not. They when they when the skin gets black, they're super sweet and they taste good. It's completely different from a banana, okay? So there are people that think it's a banana, but it's not. It's a plantain. When you put a wet paper towel under your cutting board, it helps for your cutting board not to move all over the place. Okay, if the cameraman can meet me over this way, we're gonna right fry up some pork. Gee, I'm styling. You guys get to see up close. Some, Come on in. Someone said, do you like to clean? I love to clean. I love to clean. Oh, you're using your mom's phone, okay. Christy Fowler, how you doing today? Come on in, y'all. Let me show you what's happened. Look at that pork. Oh, Gina, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Listen, put it on like a medium, medium high. Okay, well, don't just do medium. And you cook that pork until it's well done. It will be crispy. But at the same time, it's juicy, right? This is the pork recipe that you will love. You're going to love me for it. You're going to say, where is Gina? Because I need to hug her because I made the pork pieces and it was good. Someone said, can you cut plantains into chips? You can cut plantains into chips. Absolutely you can. Uh, but I'm going to show you the kind if I have them. I'll show you the kind that I like to use if I have them. Jack said I'd pay a lot for Gina to cook me a meal. Oh, I would love to cook for you, Jack. I really would. I would love to cook for everybody that's in here. I wish that I could cook and you guys could seriously taste my food. One day, it, it may be possible one day, and I'm not kidding. I'm really not kidding, Jack. Okay, so look at this. Let it fry up, okay? Get golden brown on both sides. I'm going to have a, uh, just a cookie sheet setting aside. That way when the pork pieces get done, I'll set the cooked pieces on a cookie sheet, okay? And then once our meat is almost done, we'll get started on Puerto Rican rice Jimmy Young style. I know, I know. I'm all excited. All right? Get in there. Never overcrowd your pan. If you overcrowd the pan, you're done. Someone said, let's have a family cookout. Let's have a family cookout. It would be great. It would be great. Someone said your next vertical live should be a mukbang. The what? Your next vertical live should be a mukbang. Oh, the next vertical live should be a mukbang. Oh my goodness. Here's the thing. I don't know about the mukbang. Guess why? Because, I, yo, on seriously. I can't eat a whole lot. And I just think you guys would get so bored with me if I tried to eat a meal and then y'all say, well, well, how come she ain't eating? It just wouldn't work. I ate a plantain one time thinking it was a banana. A Puerto Rican lady laughed at me. What am 
I making? I'm making Puerto Rican rice. We just made potato salad. Um, I have uh, pork steaks cooking. And after the pork steaks are almost done cooking, we'll start on our rice. So now what I'm gonna do right now, I wanna show you guys something really important. If you ever decide that you wanna make the rice, you need one of these. This is called a candado. If I'm saying it wrong, it's, hey, listen, if I'm saying it wrong, just laugh with me, it's okay. Candero, you need one of these. In order to get some of the best rice you've ever made, this is a must. You can buy them off of Amazon, okay? You're nine. Becca, I don't believe it. Becca, don't you come on here telling me that. I don't believe it for one second. Becca, I don't believe that. You're not. <laughs> so I have a, co a, a cooling rack and a cookie sheet. And I like to put, after I fry items, I like to put my meat on here so it can drain onto this cookie sheet, okay? So that's what I'll put my meat on when it's done. Nine years old. Don't do that to me. I don't believe it. Someone said, "What's your favorite dish your dad taught you to make?" You said, "What was the name of the pot?" The name of the pot. Um, it's, don't laugh at me. Are you saying it again so you can laugh at me? I think I believe it's called a candero. Candero. <laughs> candero. Like, kind of say it with me. If there's somebody that knows how to pronounce it, please spell it out in the chat. But um, this is this is what's gonna give you the rice that you're looking for. My holy king said, "Can you fit moose in that pot?" Can you put? <laughs> I couldn't even say it. Can I put moose in there? I ain't making no moose. Someone said, "Do you know Tupac?" I don't know Tupac. <laughs> you think we have trolls in here? We may. We may. We may have them in here. Someone said, just say a rice pot. <laughs> just say a rice pot. And now listen, somebody out there may ask me this simple question. Gina, if I, if I make your rice recipe, can I cook it in the rice cooker? No. We are the rice cooker. We cook the rice. Okay, don't put it in the rice cooker. It'll just, it, it's no good. I'm not saying that a rice cooker is no good, but if you're making this type of rice, it ain't gonna work. The best, Becca. Okay, sardines are cheap. What in the world? <laughs> oh, thank you, Cookie. Cookie Monster, I appreciate you. Welcome into my live. I appreciate you coming in and joining us today. It's great having you all. Listen, if there's any single person out there that is new to my chat, welcome. If you look up and you realize you haven't given a thumbs up, please take the time to click on the three buttons to give a thumbs up to the live, okay? It means a lot to me. I'm going to grab something to drink and I'll be right back. Does Gina like fried sardines? Uh, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. When you guys talk about sardines, I love sardines. On a serious note, I really do love sardines, seriously. Now, I had, this is a true story. I had Haitian spaghetti one day and it had sardines in it i uh, derek eats it was the best thing ever oh my goodness it was so good it was unbelievable how delicious it was and it's just kind of one of those things like you would have had to been there to taste it to believe what i'm saying the recipe was magnificent Someone said, what's something someone have to pay you to make because you're so scared of cooking it? Because I'm scared to make it? Come, come on over so y'all can look at something. We, I gotta show you this. I have to show you this. You know who I 
I'm talking to. I gotta show you this pork. Now, it will have a beautiful orange tint to it because we use the sazon. But you cook it until it's nice and crispy on both sides. And then when you make your plate, you pile that pork on there. Right alongside of the potato salad and the rice. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I I'm just gonna bring this close to the camera. Yum, look at it, y'all. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. That's what you're looking for. Crispy. If you flipped it over one time and it wasn't done, don't worry. You can always keep flipping it back over until you get that perfect color, okay? Someone said, what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? My favorite thing? My favorite thing to eat for breakfast is the famous Hawaiian breakfast. What is a Hawaiian breakfast? Well, it requires you to saute onions, right? You have spam and you fry it. You make eggs and rice and you use a soy sauce as a dipping sauce. It's so interesting. But if you can't wrap your brain around, I know somebody right now is saying, what, are you kidding me? If you can't wrap your brain around it right now, go to my, you check my video out when you get off of here for my Hawaiian breakfast. When you see it, you'll say, my goodness, I, I might have to try that. It's so good. With the plain white rice, fried spam, the salty, plain scrambled eggs, and sweet sauteed onions. It's the best. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Someone said, who's your favorite artist and what's your thoughts on Beyonce? Um, okay. Um. I was telling them the other day that I love Prince. Now, when it comes to Beyonce, um, I think she's great. You know, I think she's great. I, I really do, and she has throughout her time of uh, being an artist, she's done amazing. So that's all I really have to say to that. Uh, but Prince is that thing to me, right? Prince is that thing. Prince is the one. He will make the music, play the music, sing the music, dance, and dress. I mean, he had it all. He can't be duplicated. And I told y'all that in the last live. You'll never see Prince be duplicated. We have all seen Michael Jackson be duplicated, right? Michael Jackson can be duplicated dance-wise. We've seen people dress up and they look like exactly like him. And we've even heard people sound just like him. I haven't seen that with Prince yet. I'm not saying it can't happen. Uh, well, I kind of am saying it can't happen. Prince is something different. If you just sit there and listen to his music, you'll say, my goodness, I think that Jeannie Young is, is, is right about what she said. I don't know. <laughs> so now, here's what I want to do. I want to show you, I have a ham steak here. Y'all know what a ham steak is, right? This is just like a ham steak. I'm going to chop it up. You can cut the fat off if you want, or you can leave some of the fat on. I'm going to chop this up, and I'm going to put it into my rice, okay? It makes the rice taste delicious. If you don't want to put meat into your rice, you don't have to. But if you want to put Vienna sausages in, you can do that. And you can put the chicken Vienna sausages in. Okay, or just leave meat out completely. Someone said, do you like dogs? I love dogs. I love dogs. I got two five-pound doggies and their teacup morkies, and I love them to pieces. They're like my whole life. Come on, take a look at the ham and how big I'm going to make my pieces. Drew said, do you like Taylor Swift? I don't know much about her, Drew. Um, to say if, you know, I don't know much about Taylor Swift to really comment. You know, I'm always, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be honest with you guys about my answers. But if I don't know about something or someone, I'll just have to like pass on it or, or tell you like I did, I don't know much about 
Taylor. So take a look at how I'm doing my pieces here. Nothing super duper spectacular, but we're getting it nice and diced up. Can you all see? In the meantime, we got pork that's cooking, and you couldn't imagine the smell in the house right now. It smells so good. At some point, and the people in the chat are familiar with me, at some point I'll be able to sit down, I'll be able to sit in front of the camera, and I'll be able to answer all of your questions that you have for me, okay? But as I'm cooking, sometimes it's a little difficult to look at all the messages, okay? Kimya says, Gina, your dogs are the best. <laughs> Thank you. Mohammed, what are you cooking? We're making Puerto Rican food, Gina Young style. Miss Karen, Miss Karen says that ham would make, let's see, that ham would make a great omelet. Oh, you bet it would. Yum. Yes. Oh, thank you, Tap. Tap, I appreciate it. Took me nine months to get them things straight. I, I did have to wear braces. Someone said, do you like Eminem? <laughs> do I like Eminem? I don't know much about him. I really don't. I don't know much about him to say, you know, whether I do or not, you know. I think that's plenty enough ham. I don't want to put too much ham in it and uh, make the recipe too salty. Because we do know that ham has salt in it. I don't want to make my recipe too salty, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, put this ham right here, okay? That piece I'll put in the refrigerator for later. Western omelet? Oh, Christy. Christy, that sounds amazing, right? Gina makes me want to start cooking right now. <laughs> she makes it look fun. Listen, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Cookie. Cookie Monster, um, it, cooking can be fun. And I'm just going to tell you, cooking is fun. And I love the comment that you say, Gina, makes it look fun. Because uh, as I'm cooking, I'm having the time of my life. Dakota, can you rap? Yes. <laughs> yes. He can. He can. I'm half Cookie Monster. I'm having the time of my life in here making uh, whatever I come in here making for you guys. You know, every time I step foot in this kitchen, just know that I'm having so much fun. And I do it for you guys because I want to teach the world great recipes. I want to teach the world that uh, cooking can be fun and easy. My Holy King, how you doing today? Okay, he said he wants to hear you rap. Go ahead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> do, do I got a freestyle? Or? You can't turn music on, Dakota. Oh, I got to, like, go with no, yeah, no beat. Yeah, you can't oh. turn, you can't oh. turn music on. Nah. I would, but I need a beat to... I can't go acapella. I need a beat. He needs a beat. <laughs> they said, who's your favorite singer and rapper? Who's mine? My favorite singer is Prince. And as far as the rapper, I don't know. I don't know y'all with the rapper. I, I, I don't know what the rapper. I have to think about that. <laughs> I'm just putting a little bit of oil in my pan, okay? Now, this is corn oil. You never see me use corn oil. I always use vegetable oil, but when I make Puerto Rican rice, I use corn oil. It's, it do something good to it, right? It do something spectacular. But what I'm doing right now, this is just oil to coat the pan so that my rice doesn't stick. But just know, naturally, the rice will stick and it's okay. Some people love that rice that sticks to the sides and the bottom of your pan. So I just kind of twist it around in this motion, okay? In my cathedral. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> I think. I can sing, but I'm not going to sing on here. I, I, think, I, I think I'm too scared. I'm too scared to sing on here. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay, so at this point. I'm taking some meat out that's perfectly done. I'm going to put more.
more meat in. Stay with me. Oh, yeah. Drew Moss said he can rap. Do I want to battle him? Oh, he did. <laughs> okay, so it'll be Dakota and Drew. It's going to be in like a versus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Drew will have to do that one day. <laughs> We'll have to do that, Drew. I'm going to take you up on that. Nicole, you take him up on that offer? I would. Okay. So now, my meat is like 85% cooked. When I get it like 95% cooked, we'll get started on our gorgeous rice. This is the part that you all have most likely been waiting on. Someone, the rice. Someone said, do you like John Lennon? John Lennon? I do. I do. Drew said, Dakota ain't ready. I'm a lyrical beast. <laughs> Dakota ain't ready. Okay. I'm like J. Cole out here. Say it again. I'm, I'm like J. Cole out here. What are you talking about, Drew? <laughs> Someone said, do you, do you talk French? Can I talk French? I can say the alphabet in French. <laughs> I don't know who's asking me that. I can say the alphabet. I think it's A, B, C, D, U, F, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Y, Z, V, N, Z. And that may be the only thing that I can say in French. <laughs> that may be the only thing. <laughs> or eighth grade, and I, I was happy that I learned it. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Daryl, thank you for coming in and joining. I appreciate you all being in here. So many new faces. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in. So now, uh, I, I would give my meat about seven or eight more minutes to cook, and then we'll get started on our rice, okay? I just don't want to be juggling the meat and the rice at the same time. Sometimes two things can be a little overwhelming. So we'll get the meat 95% of the way cooked, and then we'll start on our rice. Okay, so now i got perfect time to look at your messages. If you have a question or you want to message me, now's the perfect time. Jackie, hello. Cam's truck, do you like a la, la I don't know what that is. Cam's truck. Oh, okay, Mason. Mason's, how you doing? You said Navarna. Uh, Navarra. Nirvana. Nirvana is the best band. Okay, okay. I don't know what that is, Calvary. Oh, my goodness. Crepes. I live for delicious crepes. I just recently told the people in the chat that I was going to show you all how to make crepes and possibly stuff them with maybe some delicious Nutella. 
right? Or maybe some beautiful cream and strawberries. I'm definitely one day, I'm going to go live and show you all how to make crepes. And maybe we can learn together. One thing that I'm not afraid to do is learn together. So it would be my first time making them at home. But I, I feel like I could do it. Someone said, do you like Luther Vandross? Ronnie, hello, welcome, huh? Someone said, do you like Luther Vandross? I like Luther Vandross, sure I do. Happy, bir happy birthday to who? <laughs> happy birthday to whoever's having a birthday. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Someone said, what was the first thing you learned how to make? What's the first thing I learned how to make? Um, I, I tried to answer that question the other day, but I really couldn't. And the reason why I couldn't answer it is because I started off cooking at a very young age, and I made so many things. Someone said, what are you cooking? Hi, from Puerto Rico. Hi, from Puerto Rico. I'm making Spanish rice. Puerto Rican rice. I'm making potato salad and pork chops. Okay, so I hope that you stay in this live and you can watch how I make my Puerto Rican rice. You may love it. You may love the whole recipe. Welcome in. Carmen. She was Puerto Rican and she came over to my house. She loved me to pieces. She came over and she made baklao. She made that. She made the rice and she made all kinds of stuff. And I never forgot how to make it. She showed me how to make stew, beef stew. Her food was the best. And when I started eating her food, I said I must learn how to make it. So I did so much research to learn how to make Puerto Rican food, and I'm so happy that I learned how to make it. I love it. Gina's personality is fire. Thank you, Cookie Monster. Thank you. T. Smith, how you doing? And Mildred, hello. David McCrawler, hello. Welcome back in. It's been a while since we've seen you. Damsel, Baklao is so good. It is. A lot of people don't know that it's like salted fish. And then you kind of like batter it and you fry it. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Baklao is the best. Baklao. One thing you're going to notice about me is I, I am very versatile with the different culture cooking. I love to cook Chinese. I love to cook Haitian. Love to cook Puerto Rican. I love to cook Mexican food. I love to cook foods from all over the world. And the best thing about that is I'm here on my channel to teach you guys in detail how to do things and make food simple to make. Right? No stressing in the kitchen, right? I'll show you how to make it step by step. Do you all wash your rice? 
I'm one of those people that I wash my rice because I feel like rice is dirty. Rice also has a whole lot of starch. If you don't wash your rice, there's people that don't wash the rice, and I understand, and it, I, you know, if you don't want to wash it, it's okay. But I'm just telling you, when I make my recipe, I wash the rice when I'm making rice this way. What you'll notice right away, you're going to notice this. Always wash it off with cold water, and you're going to see the water is cloudy. Okay, keep rinsing it. Keep rinsing it and pouring it out until the water runs clear and it's not cloudy anymore. That way you've taken off a lot of the starch and you've got rid of any dirt that may be on your rice, okay? So I will be rinsing my rice off always with cold water, okay? that we use. This pork is tender, more tender than you could ever believe. It's so tender and it's so super delicious spice-wise, right? The sazon and that adobo did the trick, trust me, okay? Just trust me on this. Get that pork nice and crispy. Mildred, how you doing? Welcome. Nurley, hello. Jackie Hutchison only has. Hey, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Bethany, hello. How you doing? Someone said if it was just you and a horror movie character, who do you think you would be most likely to survive with? Nanette, thank you for coming in. What did you say it again? Someone said if you were in a movie with a scary movie character who would you survive with like freddy jason who would Chucky. i survive with like who do you think you would stay alive if you were in that movie who do i think i would need in my movie to stay alive in a horror movie jesus hey listen if i got jesus in that movie i'm i'm good that's all i need in life you hear me i could be running away from the scariest monster as long as i got god right here on my side i'm gonna make it right through you hear me that monster gonna get all tripped up. You hear me? That monster gonna get tripped up. It's true. Someone said they feel like Chucky would be the easiest to beat. Oh, that's so funny. Someone said Jesus and holy water. Right? 
So now, the first thing that we need to do, we, we'll, here's what we'll do. We'll start our rice right here on this burner, okay? And then, when it's time to like really get down and dirty and cook the rice, I will cook it over here on the larger stove for a bigger circumference of heat surface, okay? So now get the plug so we can plug this up, please. Okay? The first ingredients that you're going to need for your Spanish rice is going to be your meat. If you don't want to use meat, you don't have to. If you want to use Vienna sausages, which is salchiches, uh, you can use that, or salchiche. Um, I, you can leave the meat out. I like to use the ham. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to need some of that beautiful sofrito that we started off making, okay? Someone said your accent is beautiful. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, I got a little tiny bit of oil. You're welcome, Mildred. A little tiny bit of oil is there. I know, like Mildred, she, she can't have the pork. So she'll probably use the Vienna sausages, the chicken flavored ones, or she'll either make it without it and it'll still be delicious, okay? So let's grab all our ingredients that we need in the beginning of making the rice, okay? These are what they call pigeon peas, okay? Um, or gandules, okay? This is what they look like. This, don't mistake this for a sweet pea. This is not a green sweet pea. It's a gandule, okay? And it's a really distinct flavor. It's gonna give your rice a magnificent flavor. And you would find this like in the Spanish section or the uh, international section of your local market or Walmart, okay? Gandule or a pigeon piece. I use the whole can, drain the water. Gina, your Spanish is beautiful. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I, I try, I do try. All right, something about your tomato sauce. We do use tomato sauce in this rice. It's gonna get flavor, uh -uh, uh -uh, bring it back over here. It's gonna bring flavor to the rice. It's also gonna bring color. But just know if you use too much, it'll make your rice mushy. I only use one tablespoon. One tablespoon is going to be plenty enough, okay? Just trust me, okay? And sofrito, there it is. We made it live. When we, when we first turned on the live, I showed you guys how to make it, okay? And you're going to need some olives, Spanish olives. You definitely want to get the pitted kind that don't have the pits in them. I will typically use about seven of them. Uh, between seven and 12, okay? So I'm gonna grab my olives now. My husband is not a fan of the olives, uh, but he, he, he loves the rice. He'll just take them out, right? So I'll usually put about 10 to 12 olives because it brings great flavor to the rice. And if you have loved ones that don't like it, you can either skip the green olives or you can put it in there like I do and they can pick it out, okay? Can you get that olive right there so the dogs don't get it? Put it in the oil. 
because we know that it's raw vegetables, when we saute them, we know they taste even better. So let's get to sauteing them. Okay, ready? I know, it's the sizzle for me. The sizzle, sizzle of the sofrito. Boy, it tastes good. Yeah, oh, and there it is. Smell it. Ugh. I wish, I wish you guys could smell it. I wish you guys could actually taste it. So we're gonna use three tablespoons. Some people like to use a little bit less. I wanna taste it, right? and that may be even a little bit more. Gorgeous. Let it cook up, okay? Someone said, I don't know what this is, but I'm loving it. You are. Hey, I'm happy to have you here. You don't know what this is, but you're loving it. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining. It's Gina Young's cooking channel. And today I'm making Spanish food. I'm making Spanish food, y'all. This is gonna be an amazing recipe. Sazon, the same seasoning that we use for our pork chops, we're gonna be using it in our rice. We use it in our rice for flavor, but not only that, we use it for color. If you want your rice to be kind of yellowish, reddish color, I like mine to have a deep flavor, or a deep flavor and a deep color. So I use three. Some of you may want to use one. I always use three. When I use, uh, let's see, hold on. I'm using uh, two cups of rice and three-fourths cup of rice. Two and three-fourths cup of rice, okay? And I'm going to use three packets of sazon for color and for flavor, okay? And the water, let me go ahead and tell you now, so if you're writing this down, I'm using two and one-third cup of water, room temperature water, okay? Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Hello, hello to everybody. So now let's take a peek in at our uh, sofrito. I think my phone is saying something. Okay. All right. It's frying up and that's what I want it to be doing right now. Oh, oh as it cooks, it smells so good. The garlic, y'all. Just trust me. Okay, one tablespoon. This is just a house spoon. It's not a measuring spoon, but I'm going to go ahead and use it, okay? We ready? Come on in. Son, hello and welcome. Oh, okay, did you, you deleted them? Oh, you can imagine the smell? Come on in. We're doing the one tablespoon tomato sauce, and I'm using the goja, goya, goja, however you want to pronounce it, okay, your desired amount of green olives, all right, don't, if you don't want to use it, leave it out, come on in, and I'll show you what this is looking like, come on, y'all, we having fun here at the Young's, having fun here at the Young's, let's see, that. That may be plenty. I think that's enough, and I'll, I'll eat these two. <laughs> mm, you bet I will. Mm. Just cook right on up. Okay, I'm going to put my ham in. Come on, y'all, follow me. Oh, yes. You don't have to use it if you don't want. Right, let's move everything around. Can they see what we got going on? Oh my goodness, Gina, are you kidding me? And if you want to, you can turn around and fry the ham first before putting the other ingredients in. What I have realized along the way making this recipe is whether I fry it or whether I throw it in with these ingredients, it doesn't matter, it always tastes good, okay? So, all right, oh my goodness, just let things cook just for a little bit. And then we'll be putting this whole can of gandules pigeon peas in. Be sure to drain it. 
There are people that like to use the liquid that's in here, and they use it for their water. Okay? You can do that, but I don't. If you want to make a Gina Young style, take the liquid out of here. Oh, okay. Black olives, they're, they're pretty good. It, it definitely wouldn't be for this recipe, Chris. So, if you are just now coming in, we have made potato salad. We've already made potato salad. Um, we have, um, there's something else I wanted to say. We made sofrito, potato salad, we made our pork, and now we're making the Spanish rice. This is the recipe I want you guys to learn how to make. Once you see it once, it's going to be super easy for you to make. Come take a look at what's happening in our pan right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, lots and lots of flavor. Let's go in with the can of gandules, pigeon peas. Someone, There's, someone said when you put water in there, does it dilute the flavor of the seasoning? No, it will not because we're gonna put so much seasoning in here, no seasoning flavor will be wiped away when we put our water in there. You're going to see how much seasoning I'm going to put in there. But minus the seasoning, this right here is great flavor. The flavor from the ham, the sofrito, right? Um, the pigeon peas, the olives. All great flavors here, okay? And then I'm going to bring my spices over here in front of me so you can see what spices we're going to use to make it taste authentic. Oh, it smells so good. I'm super excited. Dakota, what do you like about elementary? I'm not in elementary school anymore. He, uh, he is, he's getting ready to be in high school. He's going to be in high school. Are you kidding me? I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Abbott Elementary. I don't know what that is. They are, Derek. You are absolutely right. That's why I don't put too many in there. So if I was feeding this to you, Derek, I would just tell you, if you get a green olive, take it out. It's, I promise you it's not going to alter the flavor. It's not going to make you not like it, right? You, you would love it. You just pick the green olives out. So come on, now's the time to put in that color. This has what they call a natto seed in it. A natto seed is going to give you that orange color and the great flavor that it gives. Oh, <laughs> woo, Gina, this is spectacular. Three, always use three. Use three because Gina Young uses three packs. Okay. Oh, the smell, the smell. I live for the smell. Watching y'all all eating my salad is so much better. Oh, is it? Okay, great. Who's saying that? Who's eating a salad? No me. Who is it? No me. No me. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. We got uh, adobo once again and black pepper. The adobo does have pepper in it, but it doesn't have a whole lot. Someone said I put corn in mine. Oh, you could. You could put corn in it. Sure you could. Oregano leaves. If you have Mexican oregano, that would be great. It comes in a powder form, and you could put it in here. Let me show you how much of the oregano we're going to use. We don't want to overwhelm this. Come here, guys. 
And then I take it between my fingers and I smash it to kind of release the oil from it, right? And then we're going to put it in just that tiny bit. Works a miracle, okay? Throw it in. Take a look at the pan, y'all. Take a look at the pan. And we're going to season it. What is the name of your, the dish you're preparing? We are making uh, Puerto Rican rice. Okay, Spanish rice. I'm going in with onion powder. Come on, y'all. And a nice amount of it on purpose. Adobo. A nice amount of it on purpose. Black pepper. A little tiny bit. Okay, a nice amount of garlic powder on purpose. Whee! And then we're going to put cumin. Not a lot, once again. So I'm going to put that in my hand so I can make sure that I'm putting a tiny bit. Look at that. That's all I want. Don't get nuts with it, okay? You get nuts with it, it won't turn out right. <laughs> right? The garlic and onion powder, you can get wild with it. But when you use cumin and the oregano, be gentle with it. Y'all know how to be gentle. Okay, so we need to put one-fourth of a cup of oil. I know. And so it's one-fourth of a cup of corn, corn oil. Right there. Oh, Gina. It, it's, y'all, it's super interesting. Someone said your chili recipe is a hit in my household. It is. Well, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. I love when one of my recipes is a hit and you all... Um, household. It, it, because that's what I do these recipes for. So let the people see what we got going on here. We Now what we're going to do is we need to put water in here. Okay? The sofrito has cooked. Everything is cooking in here. Smells beautiful. The amount of water I'm going to put Two and one thirds of a cup of water. Okay? Once the water begins to boil, we'll put rice in. Okay? What are you looking for? Charger. Oh, hold on, guys. We got to charge. We got to charge the camera. But we don't want to lose you. Y'all, you couldn't imagine the smell right now. Oh, my goodness. It's gorgeous. Get, go upstairs and get the charger if you need it. Oh. What? Y'all, here's the thing. Who, who out there is going to invent smell -o vision When you invent it, I'm going to be the first one to release my video. I want the world to smell this. I want the world to smell the food that I'm cooking. I really do. I'm ready. Two and one third cup of water. Come on, look at look how gorgeous, first of all. There we go. But guess what? It is not time. It's not time, okay? Listen to me. It's not time to put the rice in. You got to bring this up to a boil, okay? Then we'll add our rice. But in the meantime, between time, I got some rice to wash off. I'm going to wash it off with cold water. I'm going to keep rinsing it until my water runs clear. When you first start it, can you pick that olive up off the floor? When you first start it, your rice will be cloudy. The water will be super cloudy. But once you rinse it four times, the water's clear, and then it, it's ready to go in here, okay? So. I'm rinsing my rice, cold water.
here and the rice will be ready to go into the mixture. They hurt you. Y'all heard me? So my favorite dish is beef stroganoff. Oh yeah, I love beef stroganoff. I love beef stroganoff. I have a recipe for it. If you want to make it. I think it's Derek Eats that likes the beef stroganoff. Okay, guys. All right, take a look. Come here. Now, what needs to happen when you're working with this candado pan? You have to use pot holders um, to hold it because it can get extremely hot. So now that this is boiling, it's time to put the rice in that has been washed in cold water. Get it in there, okay? We'll give it a stir just one time around. But then something interesting needs to happen. We want to cook this mixture and our rice together until we want to cook this mixture and our rice together until the rice soaks up all the water. It will not be done. We'll be cooking the rice in the steam. I know it's it's so interesting, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you everything so you don't have to guess. So come on in, take a look real quick. Come here. I'm gonna stir it one time, just get everything mixed in. Okay, look how gorgeous. Gina Young style, oh my goodness. Make you some. If you feel the need, I'm gonna taste this. Mmm, 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 mmm. If you feel the need to put a little bit of salt in, you can. I'm gonna put a little bit. Oh, it tastes, it tastes good. I want to put a little bit more seasoning. And there's one seasoning that I forgot to put in, but it's never too late. My chicken powder, I got to put a tablespoon of it in there, okay? I always do. Almost forgot. Great. I knew I missed something. Okay, so now, come and look. We put this on the larger stove and we wait for the rice to soak up the water. Once the rice soaks up the water, then we come in, we put a lid on it. You can put foil under, under the lid. We turn it on low for 20 minutes. Then we come back and we check it. But at some point I'm gonna put the rice into a big mound after it soaks up the water, okay? But we'll do it all together. But what I'm gonna do right now, I'm coming around in front of the camera and we can chit chat for a little bit, okay? Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Welcome in. We're getting ready to talk. <laughs> We're gonna have us a splendid time. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you all. Hold on. I'm not I'm not I'm not done with you yet. Where's my I'm looking for something, guys. There's one thing that I want to do. I love to put um, red bell peppers, uh, like slices, on the top of my rice, and as it cooks, it
it'll break up and it makes for a delicious rice. I'll show you. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just a couple of uh, julienne pieces, so to speak, okay? You can get the kind from the jar as well if you want to. This is optional, but I think it makes your rice gorgeous, okay? And it gives great flavor. Just a couple julienne pieces. Y'all want a piece? It's my puppies. You want a piece? Here, baby. That's my puppies, y'all. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. I'm not going to put this into the rice until it's almost ready to be covered, okay? So I'll just set it over by our pan, okay? When you see, okay, so after it's wait. We're gonna cover the rice with the lid after it soaked up all this lovely water. We cover it and let it set for 20 minutes, okay? I got a timer nearby that we'll be using, okay? So I'm gonna come around, we can chat, and when we come back, I'll have you keep keeping an eye on that to let me know when the rice is dried up, okay? You listening? Okay. Okay, everybody, let me get this light away from my face. Whee! These are industrial lights, and they are super duper bright. Okay, great. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, is there anybody in this comment section that's having a great time today? I am having so much fun. Welcome. I know, it's some people in there, in here that's super excited. Okay, so Dempsey says, hi, I'm the granddaddy. This is my first time joining you. So far, I'm enjoying your show. Uh, well, welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining me. It's great having you here. Welcome to everybody that's new to my live. I appreciate y'all being in, in here. Gina Williams, hello. Lynette, hello and welcome. L-A-J-O, hello. Kylie, hello. My Holy King says, I came across Trini woman who can't, oh, oh my goodness. You haven't watched and joined in a while? Well, welcome. It's great having you here today. You're not having a good time. What's wrong, Drew? Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you what, I really do hope y'all are having a great time. What's the name of the dish that I'm making? The name of the dish that I am making is uh, Puerto Rican rice. It's like the fame, you know, you know that famous rice that everyone loves, or you could call it Spanish rice. But I tell you one thing, once you get this recipe packed down, you're going to say, oh, uh, you're going to have like a whole aha moment, right? The aha is going to be like, man, where has this recipe been all my life? He needs to be in time now. I hope he's not telling the truth. He said he's not having a great time. Nice. Okay, okay, great. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Hi, Sassy, how are you? Welcome. It's great seeing you in here. Nurley, hello. Uh, oh, okay, Drew. Okay, I thought you were serious. Gina, you are a great cook, and I'm sure you would be... Uh, let's see, what is this person saying? With your hair pulled back. I I guess there's people that think you have to pull your hair back when you're cooking. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no, this is my teeth, honey. This is my teeth. This is my teeth. 
thank you for coming in. Welcome. It's great having you all. Hello. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, I appreciate it. If you are a new subscriber, welcome in. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all being in here. I'm here to show you a great recipe. Dakota. Dakota. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. <laughs> Having a good day, Hunter. How you doing? Thank you. How do I say your name? Vish Vishala. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining. Drew sent you some wings? Or, or you want him to send you some wings? Dakota. Y'all, I don't know where my phone is. <laughs> You're in Baltimore. You're making hot wings in the air fryer and that sounds absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thankful, hello. From New Zealand, welcome, Dean. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna question your name, but welcome in. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Hello, Angelique. I'm doing okay. How are you? Welcome in. It's great having you all here. I, I do, Valicia. I, I don't know how to say your name. Vishala. I, I, I do. I love to cook. I'm going to check my rice and see if it's getting dry. One second. Look, look how much it's soaked up. 
it has soaked up quite a bit. Let me grab this over here. They said your accent is beautiful. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm just from Columbus, Ohio. I'm just from Columbus, Ohio. All right, so watch. See how all that water's gone? And, and I, I want to put the rice into a mound in the middle of the pan, okay? I know, this part is super interesting. Make sure the rice is dry. Here's where you're going to get that nice fluffy rice. Okay, when we put the rice in a mound, what's going to happen is that rice will steam and it'll do wonders, okay? So let's put it in a mound and get it off of the sides of the pan. Okay, do what you can to get the rice up there in a mound. You're going to have some rice on the sides. Don't freak out about it. I promise it's okay. Do what you can to make like a big heel in the middle. Okay, so now I'm gonna take foil. I'm gonna put foil on top of my pan. And then I'm gonna put, well, let's just do it together so y'all can see, okay? I'm gonna take my lid here. I'm gonna put foil right here, okay? I do wanna put these on top. They'll eventually get mixed in, okay? Like I said, they will eventually break up and they create amazing flavor. They said if you go on a date, who should pay for it? Um, all, I guess it all depends. Um, it all depends. So, um, I would say the gentleman, but it does all depend. You know, because I don't think there's nothing wrong with females paying either. Right, but I'm not gonna say the females should pay all the time. You know, uh, that's a great question. I think that both can pay. There's nothing wrong with both paying. Right, how about that answer? Okay, see my mound of rice away from the sides? That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's get foil onto the lid. Look at that, just a piece. Okay. I need another piece of foil. Set it for 20 minutes, okay? Cover that thing. All right. 20 minutes, I'm turning the timer on, and it must be on low. Okay, so I got the timer on 20 minutes. What are you, what are you doing right now? Huh? For what? Okay. Okay, 20 minutes. The lid is nice and tight. We got a nice tight seal because we put the foil on there. If you don't have a lid that your lid fits really well, do the foil technique. It, it just works. It works really nicely, okay? when they come in the back frozen. That's what they look like. But when you fry them in oil, oh my goodness, it's like 
the best. Okay, I'm not going to make a ton, but I'm going to make enough so everybody can have some. I don't think Dakota likes plantains. You don't like them? You don't like them? I can eat this whole bag of plantains because they're that delicious. I need the computer so I can see their comments. I think that's plenty enough. And then this just goes in the freezer, wham, bam. Happy Saturday if you're just now coming in. Make sure you give a thumbs up to the live. Plantains. Yeah, yeah, you have to have it, right? So we're making it. Now, that is definitely something that I always have around the house are those plantains. If I don't have that kind, I have the kind of plantains that you have to, of course, peel them and fry them babies up. Brayden, hello, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Destiny, thank you for coming in. Mama, hello, Mama Dukes. It's not Muhammad. It's not a uh, Jamaican recipe, but it's it's uh, both, it's Puerto Rican. It's Spanish. Tastones. Uh, yeah. Hi, Nora. How are you? Welcome. Welcome in. I'm just blotting my face. It gets hot with these industrial lights that I have shining on me. And my face gets a little oily, so I'm just blotting the oil off my face. There we go. Ah. Thank you, Nora. I appreciate it. You'll have to try plantains. If Listen, if you tried them one time, you will love them. From the first moment you taste them, you'll say, see, this is what I like. <laughs> you will. You're going to say, now, this is what I like. Uh, no. Uh, it, it, um, this rice is definitely different than Mexican rice. Mexican rice is, is much blander. Mexican rice doesn't have as much flavor as our Puerto Rican rice. This rice is packed with flavor. Mexican rice is a delicious rice. Don't, don't, you, you, don't get me wrong. It's delicious, but it's not, it doesn't have these flavors. Xander, how you doing? Okay, your name is No Win. I tried to read your name. I don't know what your name says. Welcome in. Chandra, hello from Memphis. Welcome. Keisha, hello. No. Oh, you were hidden. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome in, Mama Dukes. I appreciate you. Uh, that's glistening. I tell you what, I got one of the oiliest faces. And when I combined it with these LED special lights here, it, it really does. It brings out the oil in my face. My goodness. And so every once in a while when I'm doing a live, I have to bring that thing out to blot the oil in my face. It's just the worst. What's the brand of the plantains? Um, I will get it out. Of, if you stay here, I will get it out of the refrigerator when I go back over to check on our rice, and I'll be able to tell you the name brand. You Listen, get it in the freezer section. And guess who else sells those uh, plantains like that? Uh, uh, Aldi's. 
Oldie sells them in their freezer section and they are the best. Okay, Sonia says, I have combination oily and dry. Oh, I wish my face was dry. <laughs> I can't stand the oil, especially when it's summertime sassy. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, you know, you've been with me for so long. My face gets super oily. I can't stand it. I don't wish I had dry skin. <laughs> But I tell you what, I might take dry skin over oily. Oh. Buy the plantains raw. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you know what, uh, my holy king, about that is when I buy them fresh, um, they take forever and a day to get sweet like I want them. You know, where the skin is black, you peel them, you slice them, and they're nice and sweet. They might take three weeks to get nice and sweet. So you buy them that way, you ain't got nothing to worry about, right? Hi, Sherlyn. Hello. Saj, how you doing? Dr. Sheila, hello, and you're watching from Tijuana. Welcome. Oh, they're much... Oh, difficult to find there. Okay, welcome to my channel. Prince, how you doing? Welcome. You do, you have to let them get black in order for them to have that flavor, that taste that we're looking for. Oh, I'm talking about good. You hear me? Oh, yes. Yes. I love to get international food. I'm always going to ask for sweet plantains. Sweet, sweet. I, now, they, 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 they have the savory ones where you could cut them green and you can boil them, of course. I'm not a fan of it. Or you could still fry them up and make tostones. And they're savory. And some people put salt and garlic powder on it. I'm not a fan of that. But these sweet ones, they knock my socks off every time. I know, sassy. Say it again, sassy. You and them sardines. He came in with that. I said, oh, Lord, here we go again. Val, hello. How you doing? Welcome. Alice Moore. Are they healthy for you? Um, I'm just going to say this. I would eat them in moderation because it is a starch. You know, just like I would say a banana has starch and it has sweetness to it, you know, and a potato has starch and, you, you, you know, you just eat it in moderation. So um, I may have like three on my plate. I could eat, I could eat that whole plate. <laughs> I may have three on my plate, but since I want to eat it in moderation, I'm just going to have three. And then tomorrow, if I want three more, I'm going to have three more. <laughs> They're that good. They are. Patsy, hello and welcome. Oh, Thomas. Thomas said he got eight cans of it. <laughs> Tostones. Yes, my holy king. Oh, you're type one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, if you look up and you realize you have not given a thumbs up to the live, give a thumbs up to the live. We're going to have a great time. So typically when I make this two cup, two and three fourths of a cup of rice, we cook it for 20 minutes, right? Uh, in that mound. And then after the 20 minutes is up, this timer will go off. We'll give it one stir. We'll cover it again because it won't be done and cook it a little bit longer until it's completely done. You guys, when, when, the, rice, when the rice is 95% done, we'll throw those plantains in a frying pan of oil. And you'll get to see, when, they, when you fry them and they get like a dark brown, like a caramelized color to them, that's the color that you're looking for. Be mindful, be careful, because they can burn really quickly, okay? So uh, you want that golden brown on both sides, and then you take them out and drain them. I am Muhammad. Ooh, okay, Sassy, what is Sassy saying? You got to try it with lime. You have seen people do that. What are they trying with lime? That sounds good. Lime, lime just sounds good right now. 
Thank you, Derek Stewart. Raymond, hey, how you doing? I don't think I spoke to you today. Welcome. I'm doing okay, Jessica. Hello. Oh, you got to eat Wendy's, but I tell you what, you can make this, Gina Young style. You can, and you can enjoy the recipe. But I tell you what, I bet you your Wendy's is good. Plenty, mm-hmm. Sassy, let me ask you this. So did you make your, um, your beans? I know this weekend you were supposed to be making beans. Did you make your beans? How did they turn out? I would love to know. Were there plantains that you showed us breaded? No, anytime I make plantains, they will never ever be breaded. Most of the time when people cook plantains, you just fry them, you never bread them, or you boil them. You boil the green, the green plantains, or you fry them. I'm gonna be frying them. I've never heard of them being uh, uh, breaded. Oh, okay, Judy. Judy, you have a great question. Welcome in. Judy says, can I use the boil in a bag rice for this? I hate to tell you that you can't. I hate to tell you that you can't because, you know, that's my rice of choice. I love to use it. I love to cook with it, and I stand beside it. But today I used, can you show, can you give me the rice real quick, please, so I can show Judy what type of rice I use? I use medium grain rice. If you use, right there, if you use long grain rice, it will take you forever and a day for your rice to cook, okay? And don't, and don't use small grain either, okay? Medium grain is what you're looking for. Now, this is just a Kroger brand. It's just an off brand. It does say medium grain, okay? It's just bag rice, okay? It only cost me like $1.19, don't quote me. I could be totally wrong about the price. But I ate two and three-fourths cup of rice. I believe that's what I used. But I'll, I'll tell you again the measurements, okay? Adriana, hello. How you doing? Yes, I made the pinto beans. Cornbread oh, and air fryer wings. They turned out great. Oh, sassy. You are amazing. Oh, that's great. Shirley Clark says they are very delicious. Okay, Derek, how you doing? Derek says, can you do plantains in the air fryer? You bet you can. Thank you all. Mildred, I appreciate you. Thank you all for getting rid of um, uh, the, the crazies that like to come in. Hey, but I tell you what, we love them too. We do. We love them. We'll just pray for them. Let's see. Let's see, I'm trying to read Mildred's message. Okay, Mildred, Gina, my sister Tina was in a oh, car accident. Let me see. And you was in the car as well. Your lower back is hurting. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. May the good Lord bless over you, whoever was in the car accident and your sister, bless over your body. In your mind, in Jesus Christ's name, may God heal you right now. In the name of Jesus, from any injuries. In Jesus Christ's name. I hate to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. What's my favorite song? I can't tell you. I couldn't tell you because I have so many songs that I love. Oh, there are so many songs. Um, I can't tell you. Not right off the bat. I would have to be like not reading comments to really think about what song I love the most. But I do love music. It's not my holy king. It's so super easy to make. And a lot of people are terrified to make it, right? A lot of people are like, shoot, I, you know, they, they don't know. And a lot of people think that I don't know how to make rice because I love to use the boil in a bag rice. Well, you know. In today's live, we'll show, show the people that think that. But um, it, it, it can be very easy. It's just like a, you know, it's, it's simple. Okay, so uh, D says, Jasmine rice is your favorite. 
You cannot make this recipe using jasmine rice. And if somebody wants to use like a brown rice, I, I don't know how it would turn out. I've never made this recipe using brown rice, so I just don't know how it would turn out. I would love if somebody would make this recipe using brown rice, and then you guys can come back and tell me how it turned out. Yes, Sassy says she's glad that everyone is okay with you, Mildred. We hate to hear that. Oh, next week you're making chicken. How great. Okay, D reacts. Tomorrow is your birthday. Well, happy birthday to you. And I miss you. I, I miss you. I wish you many, many more. Happy blessed birthdays. Absolutely, I do. You can use Uncle Ben's. You can. Sure you can. Uh-huh. You can. You can. You can. You can use the parboiled rice if, if that's what you choose. Okay. This is not a parboiled rice. It's just a, you know, medium grain rice. Nothing special. No name brand. Medium grain is going to work best. Like I said, you can use long grain, but it takes forever. You're going to have pieces in there just didn't get done. Right? So, Amanda, hello and thank you. Thankful. How you doing today and welcome. Mimsy, I hope you have a wonderful birthday going out to D Reacts. That's very nice. Candy, hello. Nellie, hello. I... You can make yellow plantains, hold on, layer as a lasagna with ground beef and cheese. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. You know that sounds good, that sounds delicious. Show us your dog. Okay, so give me, give me the puppies. And listen, for the people that's out there, I'll make sure to wash my arms and hands when I get up and check the food if I, when I grab my puppies, there's like, dog patrol out here it's like the food police she picked the dog up you know <laughs> let me see my puppy his sweet baby somebody wants to see okay uh -uh, don't put it okay come here sweetie oh we best friends hold on can you look can you look at them and say hi Say hi, sweetie pie. Hi, we best friends. Are we best friends? I love you. You waiting on daddy? You want daddy? Hi, poo poo. Hi, sweetie, I love you. This here, this is Polo, guys. This is sweet Polo. Oh my goodness, he's a doll, baby. Look at that. Ah, he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. And this is Prince. They are brothers. They're from the same litter. Okay. And they're teacup Morkies. M-O-R-K-I-E-S. They're hyperallergenic and they're super duper smart. Say hi, sweetie pie. Look at the people. Look at the people. Say hi. Say hi, poop poop. There they are. Hi. Okay, listen. It's been 20 minutes. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash my hands and my arms up really good. We need to check on our rice. We're gonna give it one nice stir. And when we give it one nice stir, we're gonna release a lot of steam that was in that big mound that we made for the rice, okay? And then we're gonna cover it up and cook it for a little bit longer and our rice is almost done. And in the meantime, between time, we got plantains to fry up, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, let me get the camera turned around. Conrad, hello and welcome. Raymond, how you doing? Megan, sister, hello. All right, great. Here we go. Bear with me. Tell me when the lighting is right. Okay. Today's your birthday, Hayden. Happy birthday. You ready? Let's go. Pick this up, okay? Let me wash my hands. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, let's check on the rice. Come on in, come, come on in. We'll check it together. We will check it together. We got some super interesting stuff. All right, and we're gonna be frying up some plantains. All right, be careful with this pan because it's super hot. It may be a lot of steam coming up, okay? So let the steam, let the steam release, okay? And so now I'm gonna take a pot holder. Let's stir it. Oh, ha ha, from the bottom up, okay? It's a must. Oh, this is Spanish rice. Do you hear me? Oh my goodness, Gina, are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. This is what you're looking for. You're gonna get crispy bits in the bottom and that's what we love. We love, there's a whole name for the crispy bits in the bottom, right? I just can't think of it to save my life. Okay, so let's pull it away from the edge. We're not gonna make a big amount as we did last time, okay? We gotta cover it because it just ain't done yet. Okay. Gotta continue to cook it. We'll turn the timer on. But we're getting ready to fry up some plantains. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on this burner here. Turn our timer on. Food's almost done. The food is almost done. Look at that. I know, I know, super. Okay, so now, soon as my oil gets hot, plantains go in and I'll be able to show you what you're looking for, okay? Because uh, you, some of your question may be, okay, Gina, so if I'm cooking the plantains that were frozen, is it okay to fry them while they're frozen? Sure it is, sure. And if you wanted to, you can even um, turn around and thaw your plantains out before you cook them. It's really up to you, okay? It's up to you. Hold on, guys. Try to keep everything nice and clean so I can be stress-free. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Give a thumbs up to Zilad. I'm gonna put some of my spices away while I wait on the heat, the oil to heat up.
clean up and make your life stress-free. I got pork, I got potato salad. I also have sofrito. I'm just gonna cover the sofrito for right now and we'll put it in the refrigerator. And later I'll put it in ice trays to freeze it. And then the next time I wanna make something that requires me to use sofrito, I'm gonna pop out one of those or, or two or three of my sofrito ice cubes and then I'll continue with my recipe. Okay, in the refrigerator. Then come and come close all the cartons and come get these dishes. Bring the camera in so they can see us cooking this. Come on in, y'all. If you, if you, I'm gonna show you the plantains. Gorgeous, and as long as I've had them out, they've fallen out. Okay, thaw it out a little bit. So now we'll put them in here. Be careful because they can have a little bit of water in them. It can create a little bit of splattering, okay? So just be mindful and very careful, okay? And we're not going to flip these over until they get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. You don't have to keep going back and forth. Gorgeous. I'm only going to make a little bit for me and my husband. There we go. Okay, so when we, when I come back around, you're going to get these done and what's in the dining room on the table. You hear me? Okay, great. Let's get this light away from my eyes. Welcome. What are you guys doing? What's the car? This is super funny. Please tell me what the car emoji is for. It said, where are you guys driving to? Oh, okay. You don't like, oh, okay. <laughs> you said your aunt and drew says he's in where are y'all going i'd love to know where you guys are going who's all going <laughs> am i invited <laughs> if i bring the food am i invited <laughs> Oh, look, he said he's blame, blaming Drew for everything. Where did my lip gloss go? Okay, here it is. You didn't do too much for your birthday? Oh, well, I tell you what, I sure hope you had a good birthday, though. I really do. Not to cook slowly, because if you cook them slowly, they'll get oily. So I do have them on like a medium heat. Um, medium, medium high. I'm just going to keep a good eye on them. When you see me jump up, just know <laughs> that I'm ready to go flip my plantains. I just know they're not ready right now. Yeah, don't cook them on low because they'll turn into mush. They'll never get crispy. Because what you're looking for, you're looking for them to be hot and soft in the inside, but yet you want the outside nice and crispy. And we'll be able to achieve that. Like I said, you'll see like a charred co color come to them. 
Kids Funny, welcome. Dr. Sheila, welcome. You miss your friend Ron, where is he? I don't know, he must not know that I'm live. He must just not know, and he could be busy. Okay, the voice. People, there's so many people that uh, uh, say something about my voice. I tell you what, it's funny. You said I give you motherly vibes. Well, I am a mother, <laughs> and I've been a mother for many, many years. Um, but um, but when I first started my channel, I, I, I started the channel off cooking where I wasn't showing my face. And then when I finally showed my face, people said, I thought you was an old lady. Right? And I thought, well, okay, hold on, let me check my plantain, Joe. Come on with the camera, Nicola. Nicola? Mm -hmm. I want to show you guys what to look for, okay? So now look at this. I could smell that they were getting nice and charred. That's what you want. This is when they taste good. Zoom in on that thing. Zoom in on that thing. So they can see the lovely goodness of Gina Young's kitchen. All right? Look at this. Come here, come here, come here, y'all. You see that gorgeousness? That's what I want your plantains to look like. Soft and supple in the middle. It's almost as if it was a pudding, like a, th uh oh, sorry guys, like a thick pudding. It's gorgeous, right? The outside is crispy and buttery and just the best. That's what I'm looking for, and it doesn't, it might take you 10 minutes to cook them, okay? Beautiful every time. Serve this alongside of breakfast. Your family will love you for it. Can you, Dakota? Can you get that and that little red thing from them, please? Please and thank you. And I still need you to do what I ask. Now, normally I take um, the stuff that I fry and I put it onto a cookie sheet and a cooling rack. This time, I want to purposely set these on um, a paper towel so that they can really soak up that oil. You don't want your plantains to be oily, right? No. So we're gonna, I have a plate here. And I'm gonna put the plantains there and we'll soak up any extra oil, okay? That's perfect. Okay, that's great, thank you. Hold on guys. Turn these lights out. I mean, close these curtains and come do what I ask. We're moving in the right direction, everybody. Let's see. Looks like we got about 10 to 15 minutes on our rice. And after that 10 to 15 minutes is up, we'll taste the rice and see if it's done. If it's not, it probably has like like seven to ten minutes left and guess what we're gonna do you get the first bite we're gonna say a whole prayer i'm gonna eat the food with you all and we're gonna sit and chit chat for a little while um i want you all to write down what you would like to talk about tonight if you have a great topic or a great conversation that you would like to have write it down and then that way when i sit down with my plate we can talk about some fun stuff okay Hey, baby. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> hey. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> yeah. The dogs didn't even bark for you. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> Hi. This is my husband, guys. You don't love me. You don't love me. I didn't even you. know he was here, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.
color. That's the color that it, it must be. If it ain't that color, you ain't cooking it right. All right, gorgeous. Oh, I live for that. And so that color, when crispiness, it's gonna be soft, sweet, salty. Just goes perfect with the pork chops that we made, the potato salad, and the rice. All right? Gorgeous. <laughs> what are you about to make you some? I got two more in the pan. You know, sometimes, sometimes there's always like one or two that takes forever and a day to cook. You want me to put that in the freezer? Please. Thank you, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, baby. I love you, baby. It's great seeing you. So I'm going to show you. You get started, okay? Whee! Look at that, my holy king. Remember you were asking? That's what I want you all to look like, okay? Whether you're making them fresh or you're doing the kind that I did, that's the look that we're going for, okay? This this, this is what's going to give you a whole nother life. It's so amazing. All right, I'm about to sit down, okay? Gina says Thomas. Uh, Sassy says bingo, Derek. <laughs> you might want to close some of these curtains in the dining room and in here. Those look good. They are good. And I'm going to. Okay, so somebody wants to know what's the name brand of the plantains. Can you please tell me? The name brand there in the freezer and I closed the bag and rolled it down a little bit down at the bottom just hold it up and I'll see the name brand is La Fe L A F E I that's the name brand okay and it comes in a yellow and white bag Gina we outside <laughs> oh my goodness that would be completely nuts it was like I didn't see any messages, but at some point I looked at the message and you said, Gina, we outside. <laughs> Gina, we out here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. Uh, Gina, we're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> That's super funny. It is. Andy, hello and welcome. There's a line outside the door. <laughs> B Twin Ham, hello. Oh, you must not like the food. Welcome in. Uh-oh, that's so funny. Would you treat us like Jehovah Witness? <laughs> My husband got a kick out of that one. Would you treat us like Jehovah Witness? Stop it. 
No, yeah, y'all telling me how y'all treat them. I open the door. I open the door and I talk to them. I open the door and I talk to them. Now, whoever asks me that question, not, now, whoever asks me that question, you are the one that closes the door or you go hide and don't answer. We answer the door. <laughs> I, we got the plantains from Kroger. I'm right behind y'all. Look at Mama Dukes, that's so funny. <laughs> look at Chris's message. It is so funny. Dakota, come look at Chris's message. Hurry before it leaves. He got a bunch of people running. Hold on, this is so funny. How do I get to it? Look, they're at the door. <laughs> a line of people. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> the emoji is so funny. Evelyn said, I'm coming. I'm not, Drew. Drew, I'm not. <laughs> Gina, you open the door. <laughs> Gina, you open that door. I think Sassy. Is Sassy behind this? Sassy and Mildred? I think Sassy and Mildred might be behind this. Did they, were they the drivers? <laughs> Was Sassy and Mildred the drivers is what I'd love to know. <laughs> oh, Eula, how you doing? Welcome. Knock, knock, we're here. That's super funny. It's sassy. Look at Drew. Drew said it is sassy. <laughs> the dogs just lick me. That's super duper funny. <laughs> Shirley. Shirley Clark. <laughs> Shirley's thing, she got an emoji. Gina, I'm running too. <laughs> Why is that like the funniest thing ever? When I see certain emojis, it's super funny. <laughs> Xander said, that's, now that's a good one. Love and joy. Oh. <laughs> Open the door, says Eula. Oh. Where have I been? I'm on YouTube every single day. I'm on YouTube every day. I do lives often. So welcome. Thank you for coming in. Ugh. That's so funny because he did not close the curtains. Can you close the curtains? <laughs> I'll close this one, but you can close the other ones in the dining room, please. Okay, do these. Be very careful with them, okay? I want them, I don't want them closed too tight. There you go. That's funny, Hayden. TS Gaming, thanks. Thomas said I had to find these emojis. I know, um, I think somebody in here that, there's a lot of you all that are able to find the, like all kinds of emojis. Tell, tell the people in the chat where you guys find these emojis. Because I tell you what, I don't have emojis like that on my keyboard. I do have them. Yes. Okay, he's Dakota said, yeah, you do. You got them. Oh, the hat. The hat is Snoopy. The hat is Snoopy. We love Snoopy, right? Oh, okay, he's showing me the emojis. I see all kind of emojis. Okay, I see all kinds of emojis, okay. I don't know why I didn't think I had them. This is me looking out my window. <laughs> I'm looking to see if y'all out there. <laughs> edits <laughs> edits with cuddles that's super funny <laughs> Saj is laughing at me oh my goodness so listen we got five minutes on our rice when you go see this rice you are going to say the rice Gina 
is super duper fluffy. And this is what you're looking for. That's why I love to do that special, special technique where I mound the rice up. And I want steam to get in the middle of the rice and cook the rice versus the rice cooking in water. So what we did, let's just do a whole rundown. We had the water come to a boil. Then we put the rice in a mound, like a big hill in the middle of the pan. There was absolutely no water left in the pan. We covered it, we turned it on low, and we let it cook for 20 minutes. It's cooking for another 20 minutes. We only got five more minutes on it. So now what's gonna happen when we take the lid off here in five minutes, I'm gonna show you how fluffy it is, okay? One thing you never ever wanna do when you're making rice is keep stirring it. When you keep stirring it, you disturb it and you make the starch come out and make it be sticky. Ever had sticky rice? It can be delicious, even if it sticks together, right? But you just don't want it to be sticky. So how to prevent that is you wash your rice, get all that starch off, and then you don't keep stirring it while it's cooking, right? There's a timer. There's a timer. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let them finish washing these dishes, and then we'll go over and check the rice. And you guys are gonna be astonished. We're gonna eat together. This is a whole, this is like a whole, uh, but what are we, we're doing like a barbecue together. TH, absolutely. I hope you know how much Jesus loves you as well. Oh, okay, Thomas. Thomas says you can get it on your mobile phone. Okay, so I think that I probably, I have it on my computer. That's where I have the emojis. I don't think I have them on my mobile phone. What am I cooking? I am cooking um, Puerto Rican rice. I have Puerto Rican pork chops, potato salad, and plantains. And so here, I, I'd like to say in about five minutes, we're gonna open up the rice, we're gonna eat, and you guys are gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you taste it because I'm gonna share my food with you. I'm just hoping you all, if you were interested in today's recipe, I'm hoping that you guys took a pen and a paper and wrote down the steps. But if not, and if you didn't, and you can always refer back to this live and just rewatch it, stop it, rewind it, fast forward it, whatever you need to do so you can cook with me. My favorite milkshake, uh, you know, um, I like, a, I like um, strawberry, I like uh, vanilla, but I would probably say strawberry, strawberry. Oh, you're apostolic? Yeah. I, I tell you what, I don't knock anybody's religion. I, I, I don't knock anybody's religion. No, I don't. Oh, you look at Dr. Sheila. Dr. Sheila says, I really need to eat that rice with gondoles and plantains. Oh, yes, you do. So that's why you need to have a pen and a paper or rewatch this video so you can make it. Hi to Kayleen, hello. Ellie, hello Ellie and Kayleen, welcome. I, I don't, I don't, I don't do the alcohol, no, Derek. Thank you, Shirley, I appreciate it. And I tell you what, it was super fun to make this recipe. Were you able to get the water behind the sink? Okay, so is it soaked up now? Okay, I'm gonna be ready to get the rice here in a second because it's ready. How long do I have to wait? I have to wash three cups. Okay, go ahead and wash those three cups and then we'll record. We'll, we're getting ready to make our plate now, okay? Oh, Drew said he made them. Okay, so, hello. Oh, you're making 
making the famous salmon patties. That'll be great. Those salmon patties, they are, I'd like to say they're famous. My grandma made salmon patties that way, and it was super fun to make those recipes every time I get in the kitchen and make them. Just the thought and to know that my grandma made them that way, it, it kind of tugs at my heart a little bit. And I enjoy them. My family enjoys them. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. That's funny. You brought Derek. <laughs> you brought Derek along with you. <laughs> Thank you. Kalisha. Oh, Kalisha, yours is funny too, and Kalisha's dancing. Oh, that's great, Renee. It is. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, from Cold Stone, but they cost too much. I've always heard of Cold Stone, but uh, we've never went there. Uh, we will definitely have to try them to see what... Fix the paper towels, okay? Are you ready to record? Okay. We're, hey, listen, who's ready to eat? Okay, okay, Eula. Eula is the first one. She's like, let's go. Okay, this is great. So before we eat, let's say a prayer. I, I don't know. My husband bought this hat for me years and years ago. I just like to keep everything that I have, even if it's something such as a hat. I like to keep everything that I have list nice and neat and tucked away somewhere to where when I want to have it, even if it's years from now, because I've had this for years and years and years, um, that it still looks nice. My husband bought this. I just don't know where he got it from. So thank you. Heavenly Father, we like to thank you for every single person in this chat, for the people that came into this chat. I thank you for a special day today. I thank you for a successful day. I thank you, good Lord, that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us on a daily basis. Let that devil know that he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, thank you for everyone that's in here. May you put a mighty blessing up on them. In the name of Jesus, no weapons formed against them shall prosper. Thank you, Lord, for the food that you give us, the love and the patience that you give us. Thank you for the roof over our head. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, let's do it. Let's flip the camera, check the rice, time to eat. today. All right, don't come close yet. We need to remove the steam. Whee! I know. We don't want that steam to get in our camera, right? So give the lid a little time to release all this water. You don't want that water going in your face. I know. Look, it took it. Come on in. Whee! 
the grains of rice will fall apart. Oh, girl, listen. And there's gonna be crispy bits in the bottom. The rice is single pieces, never should be mushy. This is Puerto Rican rice, Gina Young style. Make it so. Oh, you're gonna love it. Now, I do have to taste it because I gotta make sure it's done. I'm pretty sure it's done though, okay? Oh, splendid. Oh my goodness. Let's scoot this. Scoot it over there so I don't have. We got, well, I know, I know. That flavor, the flavor is there. All you gotta do is try it, Jeannie Young style. Let's get my husband his plate. Let's get it going now. See that? All right. Here's my husband's pork. I'm gonna heat it up. I wanna give him another piece. And I wanna heat his plantain up. recipe okay look at the look can we just look at the ham oh spectacular I know 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 I, I get excited sometimes I get excited sometimes Gina we're waiting to try okay Let me see if my husband's, okay, perfect. I'm gonna give him a nice dollop of potato salad. Dinner. It was an egg and it tastes good. This is the meal that I long for. I love it. And I, I promise you guys are going to love this. I know he don't want that olive. He don't want that olive. Let the camera come down and, and pan down and show them what you're gonna get when you make it Jeannie Young style. Whoo, wait, are you kidding me? Heck no. I know my husband probably wants a little bit of black pepper and salt. <coughs> Excuse me. Can they see this again? You wanna show them again? We're longing for it too, Gina. <laughs> Baby, you ready? Come on. Is 
Is there anybody that didn't get to see it? Can they see it good? There it is, y'all. Got two plantains on the side. Here, sweetie. You're welcome. Yes. Enjoy. I got you something to drink. Okay. I'm going to get you something. their food. I'm going to make mine and then you got to take the bleach and get that. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? You have to take the bleach. Put this in there in the sunroom where your dad is going to be eating. Please and thank you. All right, now it's time for my plate. pieces of ham and an extra olive for me. Oh my goodness, Gina. See, I don't even have to heat my... No, he about to get them right now. Wee. I, I was getting ready to say I don't even have to heat my pork up, but I'm going to heat it up. And I'm going to heat my plantain. And then I'll get some potato salad. Oh, this is the best. Get that bleach spray for me. Can you do that, please? Oh, you got it? Thank you. You want this left out or put in the freezer? I could. You want it left out? You want no, it in put the it in, Put it in the freezer. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Someone say, you go, Gina. You go, Gina. Okay, let's get potato salad. Together, like net, like no recipe ever. These ingredients here, or the, this recipe, you're gonna think when you taste the plantain, it's so sweet, it's so creamy and dreamy. The potato salad is savory. The rice is so interesting. The pork is beautiful, soft and supple. All right, let's do it. I'm coming through, flip the camera. Bring in the great conversation. Bring in the great conversation, y'all. You got, you got to, okay, you know how to go all the way up and down? Oh, all, oh, yeah, okay. Um, that's how happy 
happy I am for the recipe. I know, I know, Gina, you silly. But I tell you what, I'm silly for this recipe. My goodness, are you kidding me? Have you had, I've, I have very bad, oh, Drew, I'm not even gonna read that. That's, you are absolutely nuts. <laughs> Aiden, thank you for subscribing. How do I pronounce your name? E-L-Y-J-A. Thank you, you love the cap. Thank you, H-H, I appreciate it. So now take a look, y'all. Uh, let's see, how can I show the food? Okay, let me show my food, y'all. Puerto Rican rice, Gina Young style. Oh, you better make you some. Plantains. Make them crispy. Potato salad. You say, oh, you're doing it now. <laughs> I think that's what somebody says. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's taste. Go ahead if you want to taste. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. Mm hmm and then you taste the rice. You taste the rice with the potato salad, like together. Rice and potato salad together. Okay, this is gonna knock you out. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And cheese and lettuce if you have, you know. Jason, I couldn't even. You have to make it for yourself to understand. Why is the rice and the potato salad like magnificent together? I I can't understand. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, thank you. Because this is superb. I got the meat. And the meat is super tender. I'm going to show you how tender. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. It tastes, Zay. Zay. It tastes amazing. I'm so grateful for this recipe. Really, I am. Mm. Mm. Now I have the plantain. What you're seeing here. It, the planting, it's not burnt. You want this color. You want it charred, okay? Look at that. That char is a good sweetness that we're looking for. Mm. Knock me straight out. Mm. Clean onto the floor. This is so good. Mmm. 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 See, that did a number on me right there. You ever had a number done on you? <laughs> this food is doing a number on me right now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> you want to play 
right or you're gonna load this what are you talking about <laughs> some of drew's messages i can't read the full message i can't read the full message out loud so when you see that i don't read your full message it's in per it's, it's on purpose I'll read your messages out loud because <laughs> I'll embarrass myself. Mm. Okay, this is great. Me and my husband had a great dinner today. We're going to enjoy a nice evening together. So I'm super excited about the rest of my evening. Thank you, Sassy. I love what Sis Sassy says. And it's so true. If you don't come in here, you you won't be missed. I won't even I won't even know. <laughs> but I you know, I love you guys. I appreciate you all coming in here. But if you have something rude to say, just leave it to yourself. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. It's so funny because you subbed. Sarah, thank you and welcome. It's so funny because let me have my phone. When I met my husband. Where's it? Underneath the island. When I met my husband, I began telling him uh, that. Huh, my phone? Underneath the island? Oh, I got my phone. I'm sorry. I began telling him all the cultures, foods that I like to make. And he would tell me, Mildred had to leave, so you're the only mod. Okay, okay, so I'm right here, so I'll pay attention. Thank you, Sassy. But And, and you know what, Sassy, I promise you, if you can't get to the, the crazy people in here, if you can't, if you can't block them, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out, okay? But then, and if I don't, just let them stay in. Don't, we ain't gonna worry about it. Listen, we gonna have a good time, okay? Don't worry about these people like to come in, you know. And, and, and say some of the worst stuff. We'll just still have a great time. Wait, Dakota. How you doing that when I'm live? You have to say excuse me, Dakota. Huh? <laughs> Do a dance and I'll describe, subscribe. No. <laughs> no, I don't beg for them. <laughs> uh-uh. Chanel, you said you've been watching in the bushes. Hey, you want to play? <laughs> hey, it's great. I love you guys. I appreciate even the people that watch from the bushes and never say anything. It's great having you. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, Sassy, look. So... so um, well, I meant to tell you that, too. Uh, when we do this up and down live, um, so for the moderators, we're not going to worry about it. We Listen, we're just going to have a good time and act like you don't even see them in here. And, and, you, know, and you know, if we see them and you feel like um, taking them off, we can. Or if I feel like taking them off where I can get to them, we can. But we ain't going to worry about it. We're going to have a good time. Okay. I love you, Sassy. I appreciate you. Aiden, hey, love you too. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> oh, I'll say, thank you for coming in. Good night, Eula. It's great having you. Thank you for coming in today. We had a splendid time today. Look at the plantain, y'all. That's where the, fla the flavor is there. Oh, like I said, get these plantains like this. It may not be that same exact name brand, but you can get these plantains from um, Aldi's. Aldi sells them in like an orange and white bag in the freezer section. These things are good. Thank you, Miss G. I 
absolutely sassy. Okay, so yeah, just remember that for now on when I'm doing this up and down life, okay? Because they come in, they, they come out the woodworks, don't they? <laughs> We didn't watch them. <laughs> How was the movies that they gave us the other day? We didn't get to watch them. <laughs> but I do have them written down and I was not just asking you guys for no reason. You have to open that up and see what's in there. Is anything spilt in there? Nope. Well, take it. it, move the salt and pepper and get that right here. You see right here? In and out. You see? Yeah. In over there? Yeah. Along the thing, you see? Okay. Oh, you wish you had an Aldi's. Okay, so you don't have one. Okay. Mm -mm. It's okay, guess what? Because here's what I'm going to say for you. If you don't have the Aldi's, <clears throat> Uh, put the salt and pepper up. I'm going to have you, not have, I'm not going to have you, but if you want to uh, make the planting, you will get just the yellow planting that you can buy. They're either going to be yellow or orange. If you're lucky, they'll be black. Bring them home. Just let them sit on your counter, not in the refrigerator. Just on your counter, it may be a good two weeks. When the skin turns black, don't wait too long. As soon as the skin turns black, where you know what a black banana looks like, that's when I want you to peel it, slice them on an angle and fry them. And you'll get this. So you don't have to, uh, if you can't purchase them frozen like I did, purchase them yellow, green, Bring them home, let them sit on the counter till they turn black, slice them and fry them in a little bit of oil. This is one of the best things you will ever taste in your lifetime. No kidding, it's so interesting. Because guess what? And for the people that haven't tasted a plantain, it tastes like a potato, but somehow it tastes like a banana with a caramelization to it that is wild. Zaylee, yes, I'm still here. Welcome. Dakota, you're going to love the rice. You will love the rice. Dakota loves the rice. He ate the whole pan last time by himself. He did. You're back, okay. Oh, you like to fry yours in salted butter. Do you know I've never done that? I've always used oil. So maybe I'll do mine in butter and let you know how I what I think. I think that's interesting. Mm. This, li listen, you can turn somebody, you, you can turn somebody out with this recipe. Mm. Mm. The potato salad is the best. Super simple. We only use one seasoning, which was adobo, celery, eggs, and mayonnaise. The adobo works wonders in your potato salad. Oh, okay. Is Aldi only in the South or on the East Coast? I couldn't tell you. Watch out. Uh, that's funny. Let's see what Saj is saying. Where is Saj? It is, Saj. It, 
just just try, hey just try to uh mute them out if you can you you see me i won't even look at them i i won't even look at them and when I do, God makes it to where I don't even see their comment. And I'm so grateful and thankful. Because people, they try to hurt you. They try to hurt you bad. They try to say weird stuff, mean stuff, lie, all kinds. Of, they, they, they fathom all this weird stuff up. And you see me, I don't need God make it to where I don't even see them. <laughs> Look, when I, when I pray, then no weapons formed against me shall prosper. I believe that I'm going to receive no weapons formed against me shall prosper. And if they're coming against me, they're trying to be a weapon formed against me. And uh, it, it I, I don't even see them. I know they in here, though. <laughs> I love y'all. I know they in here. That's right. Hey, Mega. Hello. Welcome. It's great seeing you in here. Look at this. Look at the rice. Oh. Mm. Hello. I know. They need a hug. And don't you know what? Nowadays, people need a hug. And who doesn't need one? Everyone needs one nowadays, right? By all means. So listen, let me ask y'all a question. Did you all have a good time today? I, listen, I hope you guys had a great time today. I could not wait to go live and see each and every one of you. I love you guys. I love my moderators. I love my regular subscribers. Excuse me, I love the current subscribers, the new subscribers. Excuse me, I appreciate each and every one of you all that has ever watched any of my lives or my videos. And I appreciate this thing that we get to do here um, throughout the week and sometimes on the weekend. It means a lot to me. It's so much fun to me. It's so much fun to me. So thank you all for just loving me. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Great, Ellie, thank you. I do, Pamela. Healthy recipes with Gina. I will get back into it, but I, I feel like, um, as me and my husband spoke, um, we were talking about possibly getting back on that channel after I have maybe my, my surgery. I got to get a surgery done. I don't want to be, you know, like working too, too, too much. Let's get the surgery done that I need to get done and I get my health under control. And then we'll we'll jump we'll jump back over there and get that other channel. You want it? Okay, one second, y'all. <laughs> they too spoiled. They are. <laughs> Give me a kiss. I love you. Mm. How was your food? Great. Delicious. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all, my husband cleared, he cleared his plate. Guess what my dogs were wanting? My dogs were wanting their blanket so they could lay down in the sunroom. They were staring in here. They were staring in here at their blanket that they wanted so badly. And so now they're laying down. They're spoiled rotten. I have learned to cook better from watching your videos in your 61. Hey, it's never too late to learn anything. You hear me? When I see things about people going to uh, just doing things later in life, I love it. You know, starting a career later in life. I'm going to college later in life, graduating later in life, getting your GED later in life. Whatever you decide to do, you can do it anytime. I, I don't look at age like 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 there's an age limit to where it's time to stop learning. You can always learn, even no matter what your age is. And no matter what your age is, you can change, you can um, learn things. Miss G, hello and welcome. 
Desiree, thank you. Desiree or Desiree, thank you. Chanel, thank you. What are some things that I'm very thankful for? I'm thankful for the relationship that I have with God. I am. I'm thankful for the relationship that I have with God. How about that? That's going to be my top answer. I'm thankful. Uh, I, let's just leave it there. <laughs> I also appreciate... Uh, Okay, okay, great. Yeah, yeah, I took you guys on that journey with me. And so as I have this other surgery that I need to get done on my stomach, um, I'm going to take you guys along the way too. And I'm always going to update you and keep you informed on all kinds of stuff. Actually, I'm going to be doing a video uh, very soon letting you know when my surgery is going to be. Yes. And... Um, I also was going to talk about uh, like health insurance and stuff like that. So this could be really interesting. I love doing informational videos like that where you guys can like possibly learn something along the way that may help somebody. Or maybe you could hear something and you can tell somebody that you know is possibly in the same situation, you know. <laughs> the fan... Oh, it's making you sleepy, isn't that something? The food looks good as always. I'm thankful for the food. <laughs> yes, you know, I'm just, I'm thankful for God. I, I am, I'm thankful for God. It's just the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm not perfect. And I'm never gonna say that I am. I go through things just like a, a ton of people go through. Um, I have feelings just like everybody else has feelings. I'm always trying to learn something new to better myself in different ways and things like that. And, and more than anything, like I said, if I could say I was thankful for something, I am so thankful for the good Lord. I am. And that the good Lord forgives me for my sins. I am. There's like a whole thing, but I, I still put, I, I still want to always put God in what I'm thankful for. <laughs> Do you ever listen to, Dick? I don't, I don't, I don't listen to Dick Gregory. Uh, I may have heard a couple things from him when I was younger, but I, I don't listen to him. <laughs> Thank you, Xander. I appreciate that. You know, Sassy, it's true. It's so true. You know, because I could have said so many different things. Happy for my family, because I am. I'm grateful for my husband, because I am. Grateful for my dogs, because I am, my home. But but the, the main thing that I wanted to make sure you all know that I said that I'm grateful for God and the relationship that I have with God. There, there you go. Absolutely. Draw close to him and he will come close to you. It's true. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that John Bon Jovi? Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Oh, thank you, Paris. I appreciate that. You've been watching since the days when you worked at the hospital. And I see, oh, thank you. Yes, I am Christian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whose birthday? Fan of SML. Happy birthday. And may you have many, 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 many more. Listen, I love you guys. This is never a goodbye when I get ready to get off of here. I'm hoping that you all enjoyed this live today. I had a splendid time with you all. I appreciate you all. 
Welcome to my channel if you're new. There's a whole lot of new, of, uh, new people in here. So welcome, I look forward to seeing you again. I'll be doing uh, more lives, okay? And along the way, we throw in uh, videos and cooking videos. And I have uh, almost 2,000 cooking videos for you all to look up. All cultures, all kinds of recipes. There's desserts. And there's a lot of live videos that you could look up where I'm cooking live like we did today. So feel free to, to ch check through the channel. Tell your family and friends about Gina Young. I'm going to get ready to get off. But I'm going to give y'all a hug on the way out. Give me a big old hug, y'all. It's fun knowing me. Well, thanks, Paris. I look forward to seeing you uh, in the next time I go live. What, what I'll do when I go live, I, I do like a community post and I'll say, Jeannie Young's going live so we can chat. Or Jeannie Young's going live and we can cook or something. But I'd love to have you all back. Everybody. Give me a hug, guys. Bring it in. Give me a big hug. I love you so much. I want you all to have a great... And the dogs are saying bye, too. <laughs> they love you, too. Um, you guys have a great Saturday evening. Be safe and stay prayed up. Absolutely. Good night. I love you guys so, so, so much. Have a great Sunday. Relax. If you ain't got to work tomorrow, just relax. Just relax. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Good night. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you didn't get a chance to take a pen and a paper uh, to write down how to make the recipe, you can always refer back to the same video and fast forward it, play it, stop it, pause it, you know, whatever you need to do. Good night, guys. I love you. <laughs> Good night.